What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to a tired episode. Um, look, I'm gonna I'm 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 lay it down for you. Joe's tired, Titus is tired. Titus just came from Yu-Gi-Oh! Nationals and still recovering. Joe had an emergency thing that happened that you don't need to listen to. Uh, that you can go listen to if you follow us on Twitch and do the um, pre-show stuff. So, uh, we're playing Pokemon! We Yay. caught... We caught our Snorlax? Not, but what was it? Mm. <laughs> mm. Our, our, our Snorlax was a Tyranitar Fero, if I remember correctly? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, and so, today, hopefully, we can make it through the Safari Zone. Ooh. That's a goal. We committed to it with the title, so... Well... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like what we should do, just to game plan a little bit, or roadmap, I feel like we should follow the eastern route down from uh, Lavender. Go through, the, go through the bike path? No, eastern. Because bike path is full of trainers. Yeah, let's go through the bike path. Or you can go the eastern path, which has less people. You can get to Fuchsia. You can maybe do a couple safari encounters, and then we can go train. If we have any fusions or anything, you can go train on the bike path. Uh... Or you can just do the bike path. You just have to then get all the way to Fuchsia, which is just the bike path's a lot. So you, you can commit to it. You, you can do it. hours of This is true. This is true. I always, we always done. get further than we... I, well, excuse me. We always get further than I think we will. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna. I'm gonna uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do stuff. We'll do some. We'll do some things. We'll talk about some. Uh, all right. Um, we got fly, didn't we? We now have the fly attack. Y yes, we have fly. We had teleport the whole time, but now we have fly as well. But now we have actual fly. I don't. Oh, I guess. I guess Petrie can learn it. Oh my God! It's what's her name? Hey, Bianca. Bianca. I obtained five XXX accuracies. Careful, they're naughty. Uh, so, I did, I, uh, we didn't have a podcast last week. Um, YouTube won't know because we're far behind and everything's uploading, so, like, you won't see the week skip. But, um, we had a week skip. Um, that was fun. There's an encounter here. Sanchu. Sanchu. But yeah, you had nationals. Did you win at all? I won. Yeah. Okay. I was. I didn't want to find out that you just like. I don't know. Scrubbed out completely. First round. Yeah. Like you. It was like. Oh, I lost my first round. But it's oh. not single elimination though. No. Okay, that was what I was like worried about. No, nope, it's not single elimination. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um. Yeah, I, 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 for the, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh part of the podcast. Um, I usually uh, dodge this part of the podcast. Ah, we're going to talk about it anyway, because it, it was a cool experience. It was fun. So it was in uh, sure was. Raleigh, North Carolina. Holy shit, I haven't seen as many nerds in one place. Um, a lot of goddamn nerds, dude. That's wild. It's kind of neat. It's kind of like a, a, like a con, like knock or anything like that. You walk into a place and you see all of the people who like the same shit that you like, and you're like, this is just cool. This is just, this is just, these are just nice people. This is a nice group of guys. Yeah. And so that was neat. I'm sure it was all guys, though. Mostly, there were some, there were some, sure. there were some ladies. Um, more than I would think, but like, they had to turn several of the women's restrooms into men's restrooms, and then only had one women's restroom open. Yeah. Because that was, you know, it's the, just. When, when you have that many people and just, the balance is that shifted, you just have to. You have to. Yeah. So, um, man, he could, like, he could have Ice Fang and just kill me. I don't think he gets that naturally. That's probably TM only, and I don't think trainers usually get TM things. That's fair. Oh, he has Roar. Well, that's weird. Okay. It's um, going to be fair. Yeah, Fairy Grass? Yeah. Do I just shadow punch his dumbass? Like, what do I do? No, he'll resist shadow punch. 
for this you. This was a bad. This was a bad switch for you. So yeah. it was roar. Like you didn't. Oh shit! Like you yeah, it's confusion. Yeah, but you're not poisoned, so. Right, um, Shadow punch is better than whatever else I have. So stop roaring me, you stupid idiot! Oh, now you're gonna get fucked. Now you're gonna get straight up destroyed, Ember. With Ember, See. yeah. <laughs> Um, um, so yeah, seeing, yeah. That, seeing all those people were really cool, that kind of thing. I uh, did a lot of, I saw a lot, saw a lot of shiny cardboard. A lot of shiny cardboard. Yeah. Too much shiny cardboard. People have way more money than me. And like, I work a good job. <laughs> These people I, have... I'm sure it's a part of it, part that and also part just like a priorities thing, you know? Yeah, like, that's what a buddy of mine said too. He's like, you know, this could be like all that they do yeah and that's I, it <laughs> i remember seeing the i remember seeing the conversation on it was like a reddit thread about i think it was about fire emblem heroes but you could apply it to like any gacha game or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like if somebody said that every friday night they go out and they spend a hundred dollars you know at like a restaurant you know or going to a club or whatever yeah and, and they spent a hundred dollars a week like most people would be like yeah okay that's like your main hobby that's what you do Oh, I, I see what you're saying. But then if somebody is a whale in a mobile game and they spend $100 a week, mm -hmm. you're like... $400 and, a month. But, like, even if somebody was literally spending $100 a week gambling, you probably wouldn't... If, you, if you're like, oh, you go to the casinos and you just... You only spend 100 bucks every week? I guess that's fine. But, like, yeah, if you... I you do the same thing in a mobile game, and it's people are like, oh, you're a whale. Everyone loses their fucking so minds. Much, <laughs> right. Spending so much ridiculous. Which, to be clear, like... Whatever your priorities are, your priorities. Right, right, um, right, right. But also, like, I feel bad. I still, a while back, I subscribed to the the mobile, uh, their monthly pass thing on Fire Emblem Heroes. Mm -hmm. And like, part of that? me wants it's ten bucks a month. That's not. That's... I know. I feel bad about it every month because I'll forget to cancel, and I'll get whatever the monthly stuff is, and be like, oh, this was such a waste. And then I'm like, was it though? <laughs> like, you like the game, support the game. I like the game, support the game. You know, I spend ten bucks a week on coffee. Yeah, like, right? right? So, like... Yeah. And they're a multi-million dollar corporation. <laughs> right. Um, that supports I just, the game. I just have to hope... I just have to... Well, I mean, it's all multi-million. It's multi-million corporations all the way down. I know. I'm just, it's not like Nintendo is not. That's the joke, but... Um, Every mobile game is a multi-million dollar thing because people love that spending money on that stuff. People like big ol' anime titans. And that's okay. Yes. That's okay. Yes. Um, anyways, uh, um, you saw a lot of shiny cardboard of people that have too much money and yeah, that was uh, that was like a really up. that was a really crazy thing. Is like looking at a binder of of trading cards and like I'm like, so how much is this binder worth? They're like, oh, it's like thirty five, forty thousand. I'm like, okay, Eey. okay. Uh -huh. I would not, I would not trust myself to be near that thing. Well, that was a, like one of my buddy's points was like. If you don't need anything out of there, like, why did you bring it? What if it gets stolen? What? Why? Yeah. What is ha what is happening? Mega bird. <laughs> yeah. Mega bird. Is this like? I don't know what this is. Deli bird. Something. Oh, meganium. Meganium. This thing's about to get meganium fucked. Meganium bird. Okay. Amber bitch. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so I on the shiny cardboard and then played in the main event. So to, um, we fly, we fly, we flew down on Thursday, got there about, um, 2.30ish. Dunsparce Fusion, Dunsparce Fusion. Um, got there about 2.30ish and then got the rental car and then drove down. Uh, number one. Driving in North Carolina sucks some big old donkey balls. I'm convinced that I'm convinced. Sorry that we're gonna derail every four sentences you say. That's fine. I'm convinced that driving anywhere that isn't your hometown just illustrates to you all the weird, like unspoken nuance of of driving. Because driving anywhere else feels terrible. Except for your home ass town. And then you'll meet people and they're like, oh yeah, I used to live here. People that are drive here are nuts. And you're like, but you're from wherever. People that drive there are nuts. And so like, I think it's actually that we're spoiled uh, where we live. And even and if people you actually like, drive well, people drive well, number one. And then number two, there's a lot of room. It's just, there is, it's just, fucking, yeah. it's just fucking land. It's just land. 
And North Carolina, there's not a lot of... I mean, any city in general, but but yeah, Raleigh is not a small town. <laughs> it's, it's just really weird because there's all this hill cut in stuff and all this shit and all these things. And Rivers. Because like, it's a river delta, right? Fuck, man. It sucks. And then so driving was a nightmare, not only because it's, you know, the people were actually not terrible drivers. It was just how the roads were done. And they were doing, they are doing major reconstruction on the highway I and so it understand. wasn't updated in the gps oh so that yes. fucking sucked yeah. i don't like the spread either i don't know this flaffy 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 jr and mine jr yeah um, um yeah no i so that was a pain in the ass the hotel was wonderful that's good. Uh, I love when you get to a ho like when you get to a hotel, even if it's a chain, you just kind of never know. Right. You just kind of never yeah, know. If you it's really don't. Because it's like it's local management, right? If the manager sucks, you're fucked. Then it's just a bad <laughs> hotel. And so, yeah, I remember the recent trip I did a, a month or two ago or whatever, a couple months ago. One of the hotels was like a genuine surprise. And I was like, we've stayed in this town a million times and always stayed at you know, the Holiday Inn instead of the Hilton or whatever. And I was like, this hotel is the bomb. I'm, I'm always going to stay in this one. Yeah, our our hotel was 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 pretty nice. The beds were really comfy. It was really clean. Um, the ladies yeah. that were running the, the front office were just super awesome. So, oh, yeah, we had a great experience. I always I almost always ask hotel um, receptionists like, oh, damn, food, it is. A, it is a fairy for food recommendations. This thing is kind of kicking our ass. Why does that thing have power gem? Which side of it gets power gem? I think Flaffy. Oh, right. It had a sub, and sub must work weird in this game. Okay. What the um, hell? Marowak Muck? Mauk. Probably Marowak Muck, right? Probably. Um, so PD. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the hotel was great. We were right across from the convention center, which was really nice. So that was like just a walk. In. Oh, it's Mary Muck. Okay. Uh, sure. Not not the greatest switch in, but also like it can't possibly hurt you that bad. Uh, nope. Not really. Um, but so we went walking around on Friday, just kind of find somewhere to eat. We found this really nice. Um, wood fire pizza bar yeah and the food was pizzas. incredible expensive but incredible um everything else though like that city the cost of living has to be be about the same as like the kansas city area because i was expecting like a little bit higher prices but it was very comparable to like a kansas city oh. type thing That's to be good. honest with you which was really really cool um, so then day, day zero, quote unquote, was Friday. We have to go, you have to go in the event center, you have to register. When you register, it's completely free because you had to top an event to get there, um, to play in the event. Topping an event just means, um, top of percentage of players in a regional or whatever, whatever event, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so it's free and you get a mat and you get a coin. So you get all that. You wait in this fucking line for 45 minutes to check in, all that stuff. And then we spent the rest of the day trading and talking to people. Cool. Okay. It's it's cool to talk to people. I appreciate it. Um, it's weird post-COVID to be in a place with no masks with that many people. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people still were. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, just like basically no one? I wore a mask in the airport, in the airplane... And then we got to Raleigh, and we got to our hotel. I took it off. I took it off, I took it off on a rental car, basically. And then, like, I kind of just forgot after that. Oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm not paying attention. That time. That's cool. That's cool. It hit us all four times. Well, it could go five. Um. All right. That's cool. Is, is it just dead? Dead? It's it's actually dead. Yeah, because this is progress. Yeah. Oh, that blows. A little bit. Okay, so, well. <laughs> that's what I get for not paying attention. Go go get RoboCrop back. 
That's so unfortunate. <laughs> so, that's bad too. We didn't even evolve it that much. Yeah, we did. We have the Ampharos. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't get to be Scizor. Um. What am I? This is all. all this is what it would. I'll put it in stream chat. What it would have looked like. But yeah, it needs to go in the rip, in the rip area. It will. Fuck. That sucks. <laughs> That's what I get. This, this first time. It's first time back, and we're just killing Pokemon immediately. Well, you know, honestly, we could afford to kill more Pokemon. We probably could actually. That's what the it would have been if we evolved it again. I'm not gonna put Robocrop in there, but I'm gonna put him there. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not like amazing or whatever, but oh, this guy. This guy's fucking chilling. Look at him, Grimer Dratini. Looks like a shiny Dratini. Uh, kind of yeah. No, it's dead. So day um, zero, you traded you. Yeah, I traded out. all that stuff. Yada yada. We had fun, and we were going around vendors and, and this and that, and looking for cards. And so day day one comes. Starts at 10 a.m. No big deal. Have breakfast, get up, go trade some more, get ready, get ready to play. Um, <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh fucking sucks right now. <laughs> <sighs> it. I had fun. Asterisk. I had fun as a vacation, hanging out with friends, doing those kind of things. Boy, did I hate every fucking second of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god. It's just so bad right now. Um, so, I played round one. I'm playing a deck called Branded for those of you Yu-Gi-Oh players. Who wait, 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 followed. hold on. So, I'm sorry, real fast, real fast. Go back to the dead box. Yeah. Was there something in there that's not on our screen? Oh, maybe. Like, nah. maybe we just caught something and didn't move it. Uh, but there's like a deli bird? Oh, the deli bird is in there. It's not supposed to be in there. Okay, I would say, is it actually dead? No, it's not actually. the only thing. It's not supposed to be dead. <laughs> oh, it's because it's it's because we also can't use it. So it like, needs to it needs be to go. here. Um, yeah. We can't actually use it. Yeah, because it's like the Wonder Trades. Okay, I'm sorry. Did I we just make made... this? Yeah, J uh, Jaden wanted that one. I don't remember what it is. It's a Torterra and... A Starmie, well, I guess. We don't have any electric moves at all. All right, come on, Robocrop. <sighs> Wait, oh, I guess we could use Starry Knight, or was it level three or whatever? It's like level ten. Oh, okay. We yeah. got training at the fucking Blissey and get like a billion fucking experience. We don't need those types, though. It is true that the the Yellow Jacket was two levels underneath that thing, and then it got hit by four of the five moves. Yeah. Um, so, okay, you're playing a deck called something. It's called Branded. Sure. It, it, it's a big lore deck. Konami has a big old hard on for the deck because it's like, it's a storytelling deck and so it sells well. And, 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 and. Fun deck, really cool. Uh, sure. First round was against a deck called Kashtira Punk. Ban those fucking cards, Konami. That card, the, the Kashtira cards are just, oh my god, we got Giga Impact? What the fuck? Good game pack's insane. It's physical hyper beam. It's insane. Put it on some Reggie Gigas. Fucking boom. You get yourself a Reggie Gigas fusion, and we'll talk. All right. <laughs> Watch me. Or or <laughs> a Dunsparce fusion. Dude, Dunsparce, Reggie Gigas. Dude, I mean, we've talked about. You know that in Scarlet and Violet, they may do Dunsparce. Yeah. And like. There's two Dunsparces. It's, I mean, it's actually, it's got a new move that's kind of bonkers. Yo, that's a Aerodactyl Gabite. That certainly is. Um, he looks like a predator. It's kind of scary, really. And I, I... Like to catch a predator or like predator yeah, the... Yeah, like to catch a predator. Oh, okay. That kind of predator. Yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> I mean, you never know, dog. Um, um okay. So, yeah. You, uh, round one, deck. round one played Kashtira... Uh, fuck that deck. That deck fucking sucks. Um, I went first. I bricked. Uh, I lost. I went uh, game two. I go, and uh, he has a hand trap for me. I fucking lose. All right, fuck it, whatever. Go to the next round, whatever have you. Uh, round two! I play a deck called Pearly. It's a bunch of these cute little cats that level up into cuter, bigger cats that do stuff. Um... I 
That was a fun duel, actually, now that I think about it. The guy was just really nice, and so it was a fun duel. Uh, I won round one, he won round two, I won round three. Uh, All right. Yeah. Um, next round was against uh, what I'm calling this, like, Blowout Sprite. It's a level two deck, and they make a bunch of these little electric-looking guys. They're all... Um, they all have, like, electric names, kind of. In it, well, kind of. You have Sprite Gigantic. Sprite, Sprain, Sprite... Well, maybe not. But they look all Thundery-like, so I'm gonna say it's, like, electric, anyway. Um, I go first, set a board. He activates Darkhole. That sucks. I use a card to protect my fusion monster, and then he fucking regekis me. Um, some, sometimes they just want it more than you. Which, Joe, you should know what those two cards are. You played a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, don't you? Or have no. before? You never no. did? I oh. watched, like, season that one was of every, the show. I guess that was everybody else in our... In our that is, that's, yes, my husband has multiple Yu-Gi-Oh decks. I, but, like... Um, yeah, no, I definitely didn't end so, up. I'm really just doing my best to be supportive. I uh -huh. have no idea half the words you're saying. So Dark Hole is a card that destroys I every... Know, I do know Dark Hole. Okay. I do know Dark Hole. Reg I watched the show. Regeki is a big old lightning bolt that destroys every card on your opponent, every monster on your opponent's side of the field. Was there a monster reborn? I didn't have one, but there is, is there a monster a, reborn. Is there a Karibo? There is a Karibo. I didn't... I didn't like, no, no one plays that card. Talk but. about Karibo. I liked Karibo. <laughs> so Because I, like... He would bring it... He's like, Dark Magician. I'm like, oh, we get a fucking Dark Magician. <laughs> Karibo. And I'd be like, yeah! <laughs> you know what's great? That's how the fucking... That's how all of Yu-Gi-Oh feels as well. They're like, oh my god, more Dark Magician support. Yay! <laughs> He's the Charizard of, of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, uh, that's... That's Blue Eyes My Dragon. Oh, fair. Okay, fair. Yeah, that, is, that is actually Blue Eyes White Dragon. He is the chosen. But, but like, I'm trying to think of another Pokemon that also just, like, gets too much attention for Pikachu, what it is. Eevee. Well, but, like, Charizard. they're, like, they're mascot. Like, that's the thing. Charizard isn't a mascot. It's just a Pokemon that people like. Whereas Pikachu and Eevee, they're, like, they're starters. They're, like, early, early on mascots. Like, yeah, it's fine. Like, Pikachu gets to be the one that's in every game. That's fair. Like, like, fine. And Eevee, I'm fine. Eevee can be around a lot or whatever. But, like, Charizard hasn't earned it. Charizard just is a Pokemon. That <laughs> like, he's <laughs> like, just, like, I was so mad when... That's an interesting Shield, Pokemon. When in Sword and Shield... Wow, okay, that's... The, I, the timing on that. Um, you like, haven't earned it! Um, but, yeah, like... I was so mad when the elite, the champion of Sword and Shield's ace was just a Charizard. Like, what a yeah. boring move. What a fucking boring thing. Which is Dude, funny. that last episode, though? Have you watched the last episode? No. It's wild. Um, <laughs> so, uh, in, in all fairness, uh, Scarlet and Violet's um, uh, mm. champion, she has a really weird eclectic team. It's kind of like Alder. Is Ghost where, the Ghost? Yes. It's Shit. kind of like Alder, where... Uh, from Gen 5, where he just has, like, weird-ass Pokemon. Um, the only main problem is that the champion... She has... So, one of the new Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet is an evolution of Bisharp, okay? Bisharp now evolves. I like Bisharp. And he's he evolves into King Gambit. And he's like That's a... a cool name. He's sure. like a samurai... I'll, sh I'll show you a picture of him. But he's like a samurai... You vamp. I've been drinking so much water because okay. of fasting stuff. I'll talk about that in a second. But I gotta pee. Do get sparkling water. Keep talking. Okay, fine. But King Gambit, the whole uh, the whole point of talking was to show you... King... He's gone. Shogun, thank you. That's that's like the word I was... Samurai is not quite correct. But... Um... It's on. I just we're watching Clone Wars right, Star Wars Clone Wars right now, and they did a Seven Samurai episode. Um, so samurai are like on the brain at least a little bit. But yes, he's sh Shogun generally samurai kind of. Um, but oh man. Um, okay, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Okay. This is what should have been the champion's ace. Oh, that's cool. Because here's the thing: King Gambit's signature ability is that when he enters battle if i'm if i'm let me make sure i say this right king gambit's ability is called supreme overlord and it gets more powerful 
the more of uh, basically for every other fainted Pokemon in the party. Oh, that's kind of neat. So it should have been her ace because it would come out and then just fucking wipe the floor with you. That's pretty cool. Instead, her ace is what should have been her lead because her ace is a Pokemon called Glimora, which is a really cool Pokemon. Um, Glimora has a really cool ability where when you hit it, uh, just... I'm going to send you a couple pictures of Glimora because it has a very dynamic appearance. So Glimora's whole thing is that it, uh, it looks like a it has, flower. It has an ability that when you hit it with a physical move, um, it sets toxic spikes out. Why? So, so that should have been her lead because then the whole battle there are toxic spikes. And then her ace. Oh, it would have been actually fun. difficult. It would have been actually really hard, but I think because it's a kids' game, they realized they couldn't do that, and it would be, it would probably be like actually kind of too hard. And so she went, she swaps them. Her ace is her. Well, uh, King Gambit usually comes out somewhere in the middle. But yeah, it would have been actually hard and interesting. And instead, they, she like, is like, I'm a tactical genius, and then fucking sucks <laughs> by having like by sending out her Pokemon in the wrong suck. Um, anyways, that was all spiraling from Blue Eyes White Dragon and, and a, poke, a card that gets too much. So back to, it's round two. You uh, lost, but it was a nice guy, and it was like a... No, no, round two, I won. Oh, right, sorry, you won. Yeah, round two, I won. Um, he was he was really cool. And then round three, I played against the Sprite player who had the Regeki mm -hmm. Dark Hole. Mm -hmm. So I won the die roll, I go first, I set up. He Regeki Dark Holes me, as I said. He's just the better duelist. He just wanted it more than I did. Um, because to to open those cards <laughs> and then absolutely kill me was kind of insane. Um, so that kind of sucked, but we go into round two. We go to the next round. Um, I set up a board, and I have a feeling about some of the cards in his hand, and so I, I play it a little, play a little chill. I play a little, play a little cautious. Um, so he had to do some weird, wacky stuff to break my board end up uh my cautious was correct and so i end up winning round two and then round three i do a very nasty thing to this man um i make it so he basically can't play the game for a turn <laughs> um because there's a card that i can summon on his side of the field that makes it so that he can't summon monsters um unless they're named a specific name which is sure. really which is really shitty uh, ban that fucking card. But I set that up. He sets a card, passes turn, and I I, I I attempt to kill him, but I don't get lethal damage. I just do a bunch of damage. But then time gets called, so up on life, so I win. Cool, awesome. We're two, we're two for we're, we're two for one right now. Um, we're we're doing fine. We can we can lose twice and have one draw. So we're. We're in there! Raw! <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Whoa! That's awesome! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I have to screenshot that. Don't kill it yet. Oh my god, it's so adorable! Um, I need to send out Randall, I think. <laughs> Actually, um. Yeah, no, Randall's good. Oh, it's so cute! I'll put it in the stream chat, I guess. If somebody... And so, um... Round four... Uh, I, I go up against Kashtira again. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They won the die roll, so I lost. Round two, I start to play my turn. They have the one card that makes it so I can't play the game. So we scoop them up, and we lose that round within like ten minutes. <laughs> it was Oof. it. It sucked. Um, it's just very unfun deck to play against. It's not even like, and we'll get to like the finals and stuff because I'll explain a little bit about what happened. 
And then uh, we got around five. I had I had a no show. Oh. So I get the That's whirlwind. Also really cool. It is really cool. The go lurk is really cool. Um, I had a no show, so I get the win for free. Um, I didn't even have to do anything. I just had to sit there for ten minutes and make sure that uh, I stayed there and they didn't. Um, so I get that win completely for free, and then I go into round six. I play against the trap card deck that won the die roll. Fun. I mean, it, trap card deck that does at least sound interesting. It's not. Um, okay. It, 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 it bases itself on a trap card that is just really, really unfun. Um, it's a trap card called uh, what, Eradicator Virus. Or, uh, Epidemic Eradicator Virus. Something like that. Let me look. Eradicator e Epidemic Virus. I had the two switched. Um, this this card, Joe. What this card does is you have to tribute a dark monster with 2,500 attack or more. Call spells or traps. Whichever one you call, your opponent has to show their hand and the card set on the field, and send all of them that they have of the declared type to the grave for the next three turns. Oh, as in you play the card once, but the effect you get to do it two, two more times? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, we already cut that. Thank God. Um, yeah, that's exactly correct. Yes. I see. Um, so what that means is, is any, they called spell, any spell card I would draw would go directly into the graveyard. Mm. I'm a fusion deck. So that's all your polymerization? I need lots of spells. <laughs> I see. So that was just like a hard counter. Yeah, big time. Just walk into a, a deck that countered you. Yeah, nothing I could really do there. Uh, game two, I go first. They have the one card that stops me from playing the game. And I just lose. And so the, the tournament end runs at round six, unfortunately. Um, but we... So, go ahead. No, so does that mean that your record was not good enough to advance past that? Yeah, I was three and three. I could have kept playing if I wanted to, but I'm just like, I would just be playing to play. And even if your opponent would even show up, most people will drop as soon as they get round three and play side events. Because there's the main event, which is the big tournament that allows you to go to Worlds. If you get top four, you get an all expenses paid trip to Japan to play in Worlds. I see. Which is really cool. Um... And so, um, most people drop to go play side events, which are really cool, and you earn these tickets, and you can earn some really cool stuff with the uh, with the tickets. And so those would be those would be matches with like some type of limitation, maybe. Um, it's raining, so yeah, you're not gonna kill. Oh, that thing hurt a lot. Yeah, you need, you did should not have sent out a fire type in the rain. I forgot it was raining. Um, yeah, Bro. say what you will about a lot of the new Pokemon things, but I like that weather is just like always around. Did you know that Scarlet and Violet overhauled Hail? Did they? Hail is gone. Really? There's now snow. Oh, that looks great. S Swine up Trap Inch? That is really good. Um... Pokemon, is it just called Snow? Is, it, is the move just called Snow? This Maybe. is also an encounter, by the way. So we have oh. two encounters now. Um. Okay, so Snow. So basically, um. Snow drops the damaging part, so if you have a team that has... So the main thing is, number one, one of the problems with Hail was like... <laughs> oh, what I do like that. Fuck? Um, okay, Hail, the problem was, unless you're running literally an all-ice team, Hail is just going to hurt you more than help you, right? Because right. Hail takes a turn to set up unless you have an ability, and also hurts every non-ice-type Pokemon. Um snow now 
the buff it gives is that it raises the physical defense of ice types by 50 percent oh wow which is like the main thing ice types suck at is they have terrible defenses so now you get your physical defense buffed a bunch and blizzard still gets to bypass like that blizzard weather effect still applies um Basically, any of the abilities that were dependent on hail now work the same way with snow. But yeah, now your ice types all get a physical defense boost. So like Glaceon in the snow is really good. And the ice type gym leader, um, Russia, uses a Satitan, which is like a tanky, healthy ice type that... And and uh, he makes sure. That, oh God, that's a stormy Articuno. The gym leader makes sure that uh, snow is in effect and stuff like that. Uh... Anyways, um, okay, sorry. So side events, um, um, and so and so the next day you just like hung out and so and stuff. Um, yeah, we. Man, what should I? This is water. Uh, ice, ice. It seems because it wasn't weak to your. Oh, send in a uh, Robocrop. Yes. You need to get some experience, anyways. This should be a big. Should be good. Um. Yeah, so we we do some more trading and stuff throughout the day, and we go eat dinner. Um. We had some ramen that was amazing. Apparently, they have really good ramen there. Who would have freaking guessed that? Um, I mean, it is a port town. It's just on the wrong side of the country. <laughs> so that was really good. Um, but it's also near DC, so. And then. Day two, um, we hang out. Flight type. He changes typing to my type. Yes. It's kind of weird. So now you probably should send in. Uh, Typhlosion. Explosion God, yeah. But if he ancient powers, don't I get fucked? Actually, you know what? You're still doing fine. It's not like you were doing a ton of damage anyways. Right. Yeah. Pin missile honestly might have been the best damage you did. It hits but five yes, okay. times. Um, so yeah, we, we, we do we actually do some side events. Um, isn't Star you actually fast? Star, I mean, sorry, it's decently fast. Articuno is yeah, also it's a legendary, yeah, yeah. so it's okay, also we fast. Go, we, uh, we play some side events. We play um, a. Uh, is this the one that heals me? I love Ingrain. The only thing you have to watch out with with Ingrain. Um, I would ditch Pin Missile, honestly, or Roll Out. I don't think you need Roll Out at this point. I don't, I agree with you. Ingrain, the only thing is you can't switch out your Pokemon, so if you commit to the Ingrain, you have to commit to the Ingrain. Gotcha. Um, you're, you're stuck in until you're done. Gotcha. But if you combine Ingrain, if you get like a, uh, if you get like Giga Drain, or if you get, um, you know, if you get any other HP recovery situation, Ingrain and that is a good combo. Leftovers, if you can get leftovers. <clears throat> I guess you have the Rocky Helmet Iron Barbs, which is also good, but... Um, so, yeah, day, day, the next day Ooh. we play... Hold and... on, he wants to teach Iron Head. Does, yeah. does Robocrop get Iron Head? Because that would be way better than Metal Claw. Yes. Yeah, yeah, ditch Metal Claw. That's worth three grand. Not, not, it's... not terrible? Yeah. Yeah. It is 30 more power, which is a lot. And 100% accuracy. Um, so we play a side event. We play in a side event called Structure Deck, um, which okay. is everybody gets the same Structure Deck. Like you go to Target and you buy the $11.99 Structure Deck. That was miserable. <laughs> the deck was so bad. <laughs> I mean, I like that idea, though. It was. We were trying to win a mat for... Um, get enough tickets because I wanted a specific mat that was in there and it wasn't very many tickets. If enough of us entered, it was actually like pretty much just guaranteed. But by the time the event was over, they were it, like, there's only eight people in this in this structure deck tournament. They do like little eight eight groups or eight people groups of smaller tournament things and like just fire them off and they just go. It took like two and a half hours to get this fucking one done and only eight of us and we're just kind of sitting around like uh where's the guy to do the next round <laughs> we're just fucking sitting here am i gonna beat a cycling road 
you have That'll to go fun. up cycling road. Okay. Um, that actually seems easy enough to do. You need to talk to that assistant guy before you leave, too. The one at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna find the Chansey's trainer. I need to run a grimer. Um. You didn't talk to the assistant at the top of the stairs. I don't need to. I need to get more Wait. quests done. Is is that what he wants? Maybe he does something different. Seven more people and I'll give you a thing. Okay, he's just, he's always the same. I thought yes. maybe he was different in different towns. Nope, he is Like exactly he was always the there, but he everywhere. did different stuff. Okay. I can groom my Pokemon? Oh, this would be for like friendship stuff. Well, let's groom the Phoebe, man. Except I don't think friendship is in this game. I uh, don't. So, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, we played some side events, and then we, we got in line for our, um, our token. You get to take a picture with your group, and then they put it on a, basically, a video card, and it's a field center. Oh, there's strength. She just gave me strength. Oh, you don't have to do the, teeth the thing. safari zone. Or we know that's for surf, isn't it? Oh, you're right. No, that, no, that's strength. Yeah, because you know. have to move the thing. You but the, no, but the gold teeth is surf. Oh shit, you're right. Do you get both of them in this town? Yes. I know you get both of them in this town. I guess, yeah, one of them is... The Warden gives you strength. Oh, Surf you just get by going into the Safari zone. Yeah, you have to go to the end of the Safari zone. You just go to the end, but the Gold Teeth are also right next to the end in the original. Yes. Interesting, okay. Um... Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Remember, you will be going slower. All of the five checkpoints. Bro. 16 seconds. I've been training for this. I've played so much fucking... Um, what is it? Chocobo oh. racing? Is that in 16? It's 15. Or 10, sorry. 10, oh, okay. is, 10 is Chocobo racing. I've been training for this from all of my days. Um, I thought maybe 16 also had a chocobo race. Do you no. have to, like, go talk to her again? To yeah, get I'll advice? do a talk to her in there, but I'm going to okay. beat all these grimers real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these marsh pits. Marsh pit. Um, so, yeah, we played side events, and then we got the token, and then we watched the anime duel, which is, like, two characters of the anime's voice actors play out this scripted duel, and usually it's to, like, promote new cards that are coming out. Yeah. Um, but one of the guys was like, just, he was giving it 150%. He was so much fun to watch. Like, really got into it, no matter what was going on. And it was just really fun. Everyone was just fucking cheering for him. And it was a great time. Um, and then we watched, we watched final top, we watched top, top eight. Um, so there's, a, there's every round there was a feature match. So they choose two people at random to be on the live stream of Konami for the okay the whole event. We watch the feature match. We watch um we watch Kashtira go against Dragon Link. Uh, game one, um, Kashtira activates a card called Dimensional Shifter, which for those of you who don't know. It means that every card that would go to graveyard and actually banished instead for the okay. remainder of the turn and the opponents and then the next turn. So basically two turns where that happens. Uh, most decks don't play for banished, if you didn't know that. The top deck, yeah. the top deck sure fucking does, but most decks don't. Um, so it was basically like, do a couple things pass, opponent just kills him. Oh damn, that thing's level 40, what the fuck? How are we under leveled all of a sudden? It was three Grimers and then a Muck appears. But like, how are we under leveled all of a sudden? We really I mean, are. You're doing a quest, admittedly. Um, so the uh, the Dragon Link player scoops it up, goes to game two. Game three starts. They shuffle their hands around. D Shifter again. But. It was the least interactive Yu-Gi-Oh game I've ever watched that was on a feature match. 
It was literally like one card was played and that was it. But it gets better because we watched Kashtira Mirrors from then on. Where just every that was the only deck. That's the used. only deck. It was the only deck. There was seven of them in the top eight, and then Ooh, the other okay. deck. The other deck was a pearly deck, which is the little cat guys. Yeah. Um, but it lost to the deck, so it looks like that's all. That's all it was. That's all there was. Um, real fast, you need to go turn in your quests. Yes. I do. You should. Um, you should set Robocrop as your lead right now because he needs to level up. I like this music. And the music? Oh, I have it. I have to play the stream muted because I can't listen to myself. That's completely fair. Alright, anyway. Which is a shame because I'm like a big video game music nerd. And so, like, it sucks that I don't get to listen to all the cool remixes that this game has. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I, because I really would like to, but like I can't, I can't listen to myself. Talk. Five damp mulch. Thanks. Cool. Oh, I'm a racing bicycle now. Oh, you just get a better bicycle. That's awesome. That's that's great. That's really great. Nice. Holy crap. Also, uh, the Chansey trainer. Yeah, we have he's, to find it. I'm gonna bet zone. he's in the safari zone, I or they are in the safari zone. Um, and then, um, also, you should talk to, there's a few NPCs outside of the Safari Zone. Here we go, we got 30 Safari Balls. Um, well, I mean, I'm glad you had a good trip. It's, I, I also know, and not to, like, out you here, but I know that you're not big on, like, planes and heights and things. Hate them. So, but I hope the experience was better this time. It was fine. Um, oh, but uh, the, the, the the two matches of finals that we watched. So the little card called um, Eradicator Epidemic Virus mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, oh my god! That is adorable! So, uh, that is really good. Um, so the Safari Zone technically has like a bunch of regions. Yes. So I guess let's just call, let's just make it easy and just call it like four or five encounters technically, which is a lot. But like that would I think that's how usually it works. Oh shit! Locks. I didn't mean to throw two rocks. Um. So well, I'm this is gonna be harder because they're not um, basics. So got it. Okay, I got the I got the mud kitty. Thank God. Whew. But yeah, let's just call it like yeah, you're gonna get uh, four encounters or five um, encounters. Or so whatever. like the f the first match of the top four was interactive and, and interesting, and then the next game, it's a jump bluff dust skull. That's kind of cool though. It's an igly buff, by the way. Igly buff, right? Um. So yeah, let's ne find next, a routes for block. The next game. Um, the the guy makes him go first, and because like in this matchup it's better to go second or whatever have you. Guy makes him go first. He sets up whatever have you. Activates eradicator epidemic virus. He loses like all of his hand. Next game he makes him go first again. So this is this is round three. Makes him go first again. Same fucking thing. Flip trap card. Entire hand goes bye bye. Sorry to hear that block. It was rough. Um, finals happens. Kashtira versus Kashtira. This guy is main decking that trap card. So he loses the dice roll. So the guy, the other guy makes him go first. Flips trap card. He loses his entire fucking hand. Um, next game. Same fucking thing literally the same thing and the annoying part about this is is that this just happened at the european nationals as well um the same kind of shit where they flip the trap card and they lose like four cards out of their fucking hand so hopefully that card gets banned so tldr Yu Gi Oh fucking sucks right now it's so bad because of some of the cards in the format but you got pizza and ramen so 
I got a picture of ramen. We ate at a really famous, um, oh, that's really cool. That's a manky, um, chincho. Uh, chincho. Uh, really cool. We ate at a chicken and waffles place. We got served by the gayest waiter of all time. He was awesome. He <laughs> fucking killed it. Um, uh, just a great dude. Slay King. He did. He really did. He was such a nice guy. Um, and also in, in, in Raleigh, just to talk about the city, there was like pride stuff everywhere. And it was awesome to see the, uh, the event center. So the event center, our hotel, uh, the street that aligns with our hotel, there's this like museum performing arts building thing, big pillars and stuff. And each pillar was a light of the, um... Pride flag. It was very cool. Uh, my, the story that you missed, I'll just tease, uh, that I told before stream, or before recording. Uh, my ER doc this week had a progress pride flag pin and a pronoun pin as well. That's great. Um, Ooh, which hell? was cool to see. Ooh, what the hell? Is this a glitch? I'm absolutely not supposed to be here, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Um. So yeah, there was a lot of a lot of. Bro, this is amazing. Oh my god! Look at this guy. I love him. We're seeing so many confusions tonight. Um. Yeah, it was like really, really cool to see all of this like pride support in this city. But I mean. Raleigh is a city like that, you know, so it will be very progressive, but North Carolina is a red. It's a red state. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just sort of... Yeah. So that was kind of wild to, like, experience. Damn it, it fled. Just, I mean, just keep... Find another one. So, I will say, you've been doing this. When I was little at the Safari Zone, I tried to understand the bait and rock stuff. Bait and keeps them a, around, rock makes them easier to catch. And as an adult, I just fucking throw safari balls. I do not care. <laughs> I'm like, I why waste a turn when I could instead... That's like goal bat. Like, why waste a turn throwing a bait or a rock when I could just have another chance at catching Because the rock can make it easier to catch, technically. I know, but then they're more likely to run away. I'd rather just have more chances to catch. I like, I'd, what I would need to do is I'd need to see the odds and see if it's actually worth it. Um, he, I they, don't know. I don't know how it maps out. They have a, they told me on here. There's a thing I can see the odds. On. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't know where. It, yeah, I'd have it, to see how it works out to, to have any idea. This is a cool Pokemon. I agree. Kuna, uh, Sizor, Caesar. And I, and I suppose in this format where you can just re-encounter, I guess, if you need to, you could just throw a couple rocks every time. But yeah, I just like said, I, is it actually better to throw two rocks and then a ball, or just throw three balls? Like, which gets you which gets you a better odds? Like, how many rocks do you have to throw before you're basically before you? How many rocks do you have to throw before you should have just been throwing balls the whole time? Yeah. And likewise, how many baits do you have to throw because it lowers your chance of catching it? Like, how many baits do you have to throw before you know you should have just thrown balls instead because it would have run. Oh, wow. Okay. Impotata. Um. Damn. Oh, yeah, so it was fun. Um. Uh, Atlanta Airport was crazy. It was running behind on Monday, yeah. so our flight got delayed by 30 minutes. We had 10 minutes to get for off of our flight in Atlanta to get on to the next one. When we did have an hour and a half layover. Yeah, I, I, like, when I'm vacationing, now if it were for work, I might be a little more aggressive, but when I'm vacationing, I, uh, I don't do layovers that are less than, like, three hours. Like, I, I want this thing. 
We gotta get it. Ditto's really good. The Ditto fusions are always really good. Fuck. Um, so yeah, 10, when I'm... Bulls out. When I am... Uh, traveling for, for fun, I... Uh, I don't do layovers shorter than like three hours. When we were going, when we went to our honeymoon in Germany, I literally like we had we also had a layover in Atlanta, and I was like, we are taking an international flight at least on the way there. On the way back, it wouldn't matter if we got stuck in Atlanta on the way back. Who cares? We'll just get home later. But if we got stuck on the way there, we'd miss our vacation. So on the way on the way there, I was like, we are going. Like it will suck. This is going to be an incredibly long day of travel, but like. We're doing a four-hour layover in Atlanta. I want this to be foolproof, yeah. right? I do not want to miss part of our honeymoon because of because our Shit first flight got fucked. delayed, right? Yeah. I was like, we are not gonna let that happen. Um, and got so, it. Sweet, we got the bullpix poly wall. I'm so excited to do all these these fusions. We have some good stuff right now. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, like flight delays and and stuff like that is just it's stressful. Yeah, it was. So we didn't we had kind of really to rush because we got to the gate as our cabin was boarding. Right. Like I've done right I've, as I've, soon as it got called. I have absolutely had had to do that before where I've literally had to like jog across an airport to get there on time. Yeah. And it just sucks. It's not fun. We had to take a train because have you ever if you've never been to Atlanta Airport, which for those of you, uh, it, there's a train because it's very fucking big. Very yes. big. And luckily, yes. the train is the train is really fast, so it didn't matter too much. But boy, how do you, that fucking suck? Uh, it was good. It was fun. Uh, which leads me to we ate like shit. Um, yeah. The trip because then you're on vacation. And you're like, oh, we had to eat breakfast. And then we couldn't eat dinner until the event or get out of the event center until like seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. You're just fucking hungry. And we're just fucking hungry. So you're just eating all this shit because you're just starving. And so we ate like shit. So I got back home and I was like, we're looking at pictures that was taken. I'm like, God, I gotta lose weight. I have to lose weight. This is getting fucking absurd. Uh, so I'm gonna start counting my calorie deficits and intermittent fasting so I can't eat anything or drink anything besides water after 7 p.m. Are you doing 7 to noon? I'm doing 7 to uh, 7 p.m. to 9 a.m. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Something like that, right? Yep. I mean, I so I've made, I've tried to make the habit at home, just not explicitly intermittent fasting, but just like more so I don't want to eat close to bedtime. I do not eat after, I do not have calories after 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Um which usually I'm not at risk of. The main thing would be I would sometimes drink as late as like 9 p.m. or later. And like, I don't need to be having alcohol that close to bedtime. But I might um, I might make it so that it's 8 p.m. So Is I that can texture least... glitched or can you go get that ball right there? I think I can go get it. Um, um, but yes, you said... I might break it and might turn it to 8 o'clock just for... Um, I just found a genius wing. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a... It's from Gen 5. It's like a uh, power. It gives you it gives you like two EVs. Okay. It's like a protein or whatever, but um, like I might less... not eat anything, but I might have my zero calorie like cal calorie. Fuck me, dude. My eyes a little stingy cuz I cut a poblano pepper and then I touch my eyeball like an idiot. We we actually we have rubber gloves. I just don't do peppers at home. Um a aside from bell peppers without gloves anymore. And so um, my energy drink is zero calorie. Yeah, the only th so the only things I've heard are you shouldn't be having energy drinks after seven p.m. No, 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 in the morning. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, sorry. Um, the, so the only things I've heard are number one, when it comes to zero calorie stuff, if it's still sweetened with fake sugar, your body can sometimes think that it's getting calories. And that can mess with intermittent fasting, depending on what it is. I don't know if that's true or not. That's why I'm going to wait till like eight o'clock. So I'm in 13 hour fast rather than 14 hours. But as as opposed to like, yeah, um, yeah. So that's something I'm just I'm not sure about that. I think I've read that somewhere. 
um, that you, uh, if you do things. And also fake sugar makes your body think you're getting sugar and then it's going to crave more sugar even if it's fake. Mm -hmm. And so like the point is to not be hungry or whatever. Um, I'm fucking so that's hungry. One thing. I'm hungry all the time now. Yeah. I've only been doing it for like two days, but I cut my like my meal portions basically from our HelloFresh from we buy the two people one or whatever, or we have a two people recipe and we've been making them three three meals instead of two, so I'm cutting it down by like a decent They give you the they give you the calorie info though on the HelloFresh. You should They do. You should right. know they're not that bad unless you're getting unless you're getting like the bad the like burgers and shit. Right. They're not We would always but... we would always choose to get the decently healthy ones and we would never feel bad. We also only got the just like I ate everything meal. today because I had enough um budget. Left. Yeah, I had enough left over. Yep. Um, and it's it was tacos, so it's a little bit harder to like store the meat and then get it all out and make all the things. Uh... Yeah, but so the um the the counting calories, like I said, I've done it and it was successful for me. I don't do it now. I probably should, but like it was successful when I did it. The reason I don't do it now is mostly because I don't do very much of the cooking uh, at home. Basically none. I cook myself lunch, usually a hot lunch every day. Ooh, signal beam. Yeah. It's a good move. It is. Um, I, I oh, cook myself fuck. hot lunches, but I don't tend to do dinner. Um, anyways, I hated bugging my husband about like, hey, what all did you put in this food? Because I have to log it in the app, right? Yeah. Like, stop what, stop what you're doing and tell me exactly how much and like, and you measured everything, right? Like, that sucked. Now, when he was also counting calories, like, he would have the recipe, he would make it, and then he could just share it to me, because you could do that. Um, um, also, you can just... Uh, what I've seen so far is a lot of the Hello... On the app that I'm using, a lot of the HelloFresh recipes are just in there. That makes sense that HelloFresh would be in there, and likewise, like, anything with a barcode is Whoa. in there. Basically, anything with a barcode, you can just uh, scan, and it'll be in there. But I would recommend a food scale because... We have one. Okay, because a lot of the stuff requires that. Mm -hmm. And just remember the trick. You put the empty bowl on the scale, and then you zero it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to figure out how much the bowl weighs. It's just an easy thing to forget to do. But it's really nice because I know how much my bre how many calories my breakfast is. Every yes, morning. it can make you... Like, the whole thing is, on one hand, it makes you feel bad sometimes because you're like, oh, I really want a snack, but I don't. I know I can't have it. But it can make you feel confident sometimes that a snack you're having is reasonable because you know how many calories like you know that you're having a 100 calorie snack and you know that you have 400 calories left on the day mm -hmm. so it's just not a big deal if you have those 100 calories and like you if know, i so if i confidence. well that's a cool one an un uh unknown anorith unknown anorith yeah um if i look because i input i know what we ate yesterday and i input my calories yesterday and i had like a 307 de deficit Right. No, and sorry, you, sorry, sorry. 971 deficit. The only other thing to do is, are you doing the thing where you put in your, like, your current weight, your desired weight, and how much time? Mm-hmm. Well, I so, put my current weight and what I want to, um, get to. But did you tell it how long you wanted to? You I can didn't make ask it, me. There's, I believe there's a way to set it up to where you can say, I want to lose X pounds a week. Uh, I think I put mine to one and a half. Okay, because that... That means that if you eat the number that they tell you every you single lose, day, that will get you one and a half pounds down a week. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to undershoot that number. You're already undershooting, right? right? Like that's the th the other thing to do too. Don't feel bad about hitting your deficit or even occasionally going a teensy bit above your deficit because the target is one and a half pounds down. God forbid you lose 1.2 pounds instead of 1.5, right? Mm -hmm. Like don't worry about it too much because the goal they gave you is is a number to lose weight so it's okay if you go a touch over it's okay if you blah 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 right like that's just something to, that's worth remembering that is so that you point. don't um so that you don't kill yourself and uh, figuratively and you don't you know um then a shock yeah just like like i said like you don't want to go overboard and and you don't want to be so strict on yourself that you end up falling off the wagon right Right, like, oh, this shit sucks, get me out of here. Right, like, that's that's one of, it, like, I maybe don't do the most efficient and best exercise for me, but I exercise, like, ten times a week, mm -hmm. and that's a lot better than zero times a week, 
So what anything I'm doing, as long as I can continue doing it, is a good thing. <laughs> I need surf. You need surf to get across the. Mm, you definitely don't. That's a magnemite mid arena. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's my only thing. There is like if you set your def if you set your goal to be weight loss. You don't need to undershoot the goal because that was the goal. And I also did a thing where I made it so that I eat. I have a less budget on the weekdays, but a higher budget on the weekends. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That did uh, that option didn't exist last time I was using the app. So like, because um, like this weekend, my my wife's birthday was Tuesday, and we're gonna go out to eat on Saturday. So I'm like, ah, oh, I could like not eat anything all day and then just go eat that whatever it is, and we're gonna go to a sushi, a sushi buffet yeah. thing, so I can just order a bunch of fucking food and just like, go crazy, get 2,000 worth, 2,000 budget calories, and then I'm like, good. Doggo. Um, yeah, it's probably just a dog, yeah, it's just a dog across the street. It's always just a dog across the street. It's always just a dog. Um... Um, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it can make you feel really good because sometimes, like I said, you, you're like, I know I have the budget for this. Like, that's okay, right? I will just, I have the budget. It'll be fine. Um, I can have this snack or I can have this whatever. I would recommend, I, I like we've joked about it, just, just try the sparkling water thing. You're gonna want to reach for something with flavor. Oh, that's a fun fusion. Yeah, I, we have we have um, little inter, like little flavored water things. Yeah, the one like I said, the brand I really like is Spindrift because they're not zero calorie. They're like five or ten calorie because mm. they have fruit juice in them. So they're not good for intermittent fasting, though. You'd probably be fine. I remember seeing something. Somebody was like, "Oh, I can't have this," and people were like, "Okay, you probably swallow more than ten calories of spit." Like. <laughs> It's okay to have five or ten calories of a thing, because, for example, if you're taking medicine, sometimes medicine has calories, mm -hmm. or like if you're taking, you know, if you have to take, you know, vitamin supplements or something, like, you will have more calories of just like spit that you swallow than you will of other stuff. So like, come on, I whatever. want Snorlax. I want Snorlax. A you want a level thirty Pokemon? Is what you want? <laughs> um, but yeah, so Spindrift, that's the one I really like because it has actual flavor, which is not something that a lot of, a lot of sparkling waters try to beat zero calorie, and so they taste like LaCroix, which not everybody is into. I yeah. still like them sometimes, but this other brand I like more. And they have lots of interesting flavors. Um, um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's fun. Yep. It's, a, it's a good time. It's just like, it's... I'm, I'm probably way over... And like when I went to m and get our my wellness checkup for the year because we get our like our wellness checkup that's free. You get your points and your all your stuff. Like all my blood work is fine. My blood pressure is fine. All that stuff. My my cholesterol might be like it's borderline at like above in the medium range. It's like yeah. right at the borderline acceptable range. Yeah. And so I'm kind of like man. I just, uh, it's just going to be better for me in general if I just drop, like, 30 fucking pounds. And for the, uh... Alright, there's Surf. Perfect. We can teach this to, uh... TV. Yeah, you'll need to go beat Fuchsia and Saffron. It. Yeah, but you can... It. But Phoebe can get Surf. It's and... a really good move. Honestly, I would probably give Strength to... Randall? That sounds terrible. Strength is a good move, bro. But he's not stabbed, dog. Well, I know, but like neither is Ice Fang. Yeah, and you I... have an Ice type. Um, do we want to get rid of Aqua Tail? I think you get rid of Aqua Tail for the night because it's ninety percent accuracy and you're a special attacker. Yeah. Wait, no, no, this is a special move. Get rid of Water Pulse because when are you gonna want Water Pulse and not Surf? Or I guess you can use any of your other TMs, but like, yeah. You don't need Water Pulse anymore. Surf's just better. So now you just get to teach it something else. But yeah, Strength, uh, see what power it is, because it may have been buffed. It's 90, I thought. Well, I know, but like, this this is a mod. Who knows? Also, you have Leech Life. 
now. We are a special attacker, so it's just better to have just two. It's fine. Yeah. Phoebe would be a good signal beam user. Ooh. Alright, we got Surf now. So yeah, check strength, because you're going to need strength anyways, also, just in general. It's a white rock. What's up with the white rock? Um, might be Deoxys form or something? Meteorites or something? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but yeah, There's real quick. EV. Strength. Oh, oh, you have some TMs that I want to see if you can learn stuff. Yeah, we can do that here in a minute. It's only 830. Um, oh, I cut him in my, uh, my Kip Eevee, so that's cool. Yeah. I threw one ball on it before I got no ball. Um, there are four areas of the safari zone. There were four? That's four encounters then, so we're up to mm. six. Um, because I was just in area four right there. Yep. I think we've seen most- Oh, isn't there the, um, there's the rare fishing chance because of the Dratini. Yeah, but I think you might need an ultra rod for that or whatever. The, the super great rod? rod, super great rod. rod. Thank you. Super great rod, rod, super rod. Which one is super it? Super rod. It's old, good, super. Yeah, you might be right. Super. But there are zero routes. Um. But yeah. Check Where for me. The... Check your TM. Do you get it in the bottom of a uh, fuchsia? Also, we need to find the um. Oh, we gotta catch this thing still too. We need to find the um, the trainer for the Chansey. Yeah, I told you to talk to all the NPCs outside the safari zone, and then you ignored me. Well, I think I thought he said it was in the safari zone. Oh, it could be. But I've talked. To, I think I've talked to everybody here. We caught that. That's awesome. Everyone that we've seen, it could be somebody you have to like surf to or something though. That would suck. Oh, this is new. That's a Jolteon. That's yeah. A, that's weird. I don't know if I care for that at all. I fucking Um. Oh, excuse me. I keep burping. Um. Ooh, an item. Smart strike. Oh, that moves really good. I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, you can go look at it. That moves insane. Um, Ball. I can't remember what it is. I think it might be like steel type aerial lace. So yeah, yeah now, you need to go check all your TFs. Now the big thing is when I'm hungry, I'm just drinking water. Yep. It's always, I mean, it's always good to be drinking water. I'm drinking a lot of water now. We actually got a comment the other day. We were at the grocery store and we were loading up and a guy was like, saw that our cart was almost empty, right? And was taking it. He's like, oh, you guys sure do like the sparkling water, don't you? Because we had like six boxes in our cart. Mm. Um, and we were like, yeah, it's better than soda. Check your TMs. We'll do it after this. No! Why? Yeah, because Why? I'm in the safari zone! Yeah, and? I'm in the safari zone! The PAI will come over the thing and tell me I have no more steps left. It'll be fun. Or we'll run out of balls, one of the two. <laughs> I love this magic carp profile that is a fucking custom skin. I wonder what Gyarados Sceptile looks like. These will be. I think we've seen mostly everything at this point. I yeah, I mean at this point there might be some one percents or something, we, but like the the Nidorina Magnemite. I don't know if we caught it or not. I don't know uh, if I've gone to the right over there. So. Oh, that's new. Oh no, it's not. We've caught this already. Never mind. On this way. Oh, there's five areas. This is a new area. Oh, okay, so seven encounters. This is a brand new area. There's an item north of you as well. TM. Oh, shit. It's a Hone Edge and then the, the Gen 4 bird? Gen 5 bird? Tranquil, I guess, yeah. Four, Gen 4? Um. Yeah, Gen 4. Jesus. No, okay. Gen 5. Gen 5 ball. That was, okay. Yeah, Gen 4 Starly. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh shit, we're running out of balls. We're gonna have to come back to the safari zone to go to this fucking area. I wonder if it incorporates the heart gold soul silver thing where you can Got like it. customize your different zones or whatever. 
Cool. Steel fire. I mean, now we actually have a hone edge that we can fuse. I've got dig. Well. I, I've already had dig, though. That was weird. I think you just <laughs> had <laughs> What the fuck is that? I don't want that. Mantine or Mantike Skarmory. Yeah, I don't, I don't, want I don't think you need to catch that one. No, I don't. Oh, shit. There's like a whole area here. There's something floating over here, too. What the hell? What's this? Oh, no. Wait, what? There's like Pokemon underneath the... Underneath sand? The sand. Oh, we've caught sure, this. Sure, sure. This is a cool area. Yeah. Got a coffee, man. Got a white herb. Dig, dig, dig. Well, maybe maybe that Chansey Trainer is in here. That's a bro. Okay. Oh yeah, we've already got one of these. Hold on. Ah, just for the same point. We, we need to make a pact now. If we get a each of us pick one, and we have both a Dunsparce and a and a Flygon. Oh yes, this is the Chansey Trainer. Sweet. That's we just agree now. Pinky promise, right? If we get a each of us choose one, then. There's a desert temple, Joe. Ooh, and the whole thing is don't run out of steps. Oh, it's a horsey, uh... Don't worry. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I'm not sure I'm going to say that name out loud. Mm. Hooray! Uh... uh what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh no! You can't catch it. Why? It's the police. No, not the police! It's a, it's a cop. It's a cop. You're not allowed to catch it. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Oh, you bitch. I'm out of pokeballs. Okay. We'll go turn in that quest, and then we can look at. Turn some... in the quest. Check your TM, so we can come back here. Yeah, and then we'll go back to the the, yep. the area. I mean, you should also probably... Well, I guess... I was going to say you should put uh, Robocrop in the thing on the left, but also maybe we'll have a cool new fusion that we'll want to use more than Robocrop. So, like, we have seven to do. We should probably just go do a couple of them now. Instead of making our dear viewers wait until the end of the video. For what? For the fusions. A lot of times we save them till the end. Yeah, that's why no, they're gotta... here. No, people don't watch to the end. You gotta give them the content in the middle. No one watches this anyway. Hey now. You don't need to you don't need to say things like that. Like Thundeer's not even here. What are you doing? You you didn't talk to the NPCs outside. You... I don't need to talk to them outside. We got you the don't chancy. Know, maybe they have stuff for us. I doubt it. You never know. There's been <sighs> move tutors galore. Suck. Oh, actually, this guy, uh, after I beat the trainer, he'll give me a flute. Well, we don't know if it's a flute, I guess, for sure. Well, he says he gives you a flute. Well, yeah, I get, yeah. And I've talked to everybody. Wow, cool, yeah. Good job. Oh, there's a mart. You haven't been in the mart yet. TMs. We have Dragon Claw, Bulk Up, Venoshock, well, Ice Beam, Protect, Dig, Double Team, Sky Drop, Giga Impact, Volt Switch, Dream Eater, Rock Smash. Default, Toxic Spox, Play Rough, Leech Life, Smart Strike. I mean, Play Rough and Smart Strike and Leech Life are all worth checking out. Play Rough is the best physical fairy move there is. No one can learn it. Okay, cool. Leech Life. No one can learn it. Okay, Smart Strike. And read what Smart Strike does. So no one can learn it, it. Yeah, it's a never misses. Okay. So now let's go do let's go do two fusions. Oh, uh, let's go to the fucking desert temple. What if we catch something cool in the desert temple? That's why we're not doing all the fusions. We're only going to do two of them. If we go catch you're not going to want to do seven fusions at the end of the video. I know you. You're going to do three and you're going to get bored. So let's do two of them now. 
We uh, we can actually do them. We've been together too long. We need to we need to stop seeing each other like this. <laughs> I know you do well. I know you're just setting yourself up to fail. Uh, look, it's okay to be right, but you don't have to at me, dog. <laughs> Damn, brother. Um. After this safari zone, regardless of success yeah, or yeah, failure, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do it after this. We'll no do problem, a few. No we don't have to do them all. We can do the other ones at the end. Fuck it! Um. I, I'm going to just speculate that you probably need to have Surf in order to get to the end of the Desert Temple with steps to spare. Yeah, I'm That's interested That's going to be my to guess, see. is that... You is that it's measured out to be like exactly the amount of steps you need to where you can't cut around the water. Or, it's my guess. Yeah, because like right there you can surf straight up. That would be interesting. That's my guess on how this is going to work, is that it's only possible if you have the things that sure. you need. And also you have to know your way through the maze. Yeah, it did say it's a maze. It's just another seal guy, right? Because this apparently yeah, the rock match... matches are just that, yeah. Apparently that is just what it is, which is really strange. Oh crap, I stepped on a, on a dig pole. That I don't fucking want. There's two of them though, which is weird. Having the, the hone edge is neat. Oh, one other thing we can talk about today. So today slash yesterday, depending on time zones and stuff, was the fifth anniversary of the release of the original Octopath Traveler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there has been so much cool art, both fan art and otherwise. Let me show you. Bro. I'm going to put in screen a chat. Chilling. Just, just chill. Whoa! Mm, that's fun. That is really cool. I like the blue. We're getting um, a lot of Pokemon to fuse. Um, yeah, there's just like Pokemon randomly throughout this thing as well. Oh no, what is this? Oh, Jesus! It's the Ninkata Sarcophagus, whatever it's called. Cophagrigus. Cophagrigus, there you go. I know, it's tricky. It's a tricky one. Cophagrigus. Sar Sarco Rocca. I don't know. Did you know that in Gen 5, Probably I not. think? Gen 4? No, Gen 5, when Cophagrigus was introduced to the game, uh, was also when they introduced the, the Global Trade Center or whatever, right? Yeah. Um. You That's a butterfree Ralts! It's a Ralts. Blah, we found it! Blah, we found it, yeah. Um, you could not trade Kafagrigus in the Global Trade Center. Why? Do you want to speculate? Uh, because it's a coffin? And so other... Nope. Oh. I don't know. Because it had a profanity filter. Really? Yep. The own Pokemon's name. Yes. So what if you... I Ooh. think if you nicknamed it... There... I thought you just, like, couldn't trade them. I thought there was some restriction on nicknames or something, too. But I can't remember. But yes, that was a thing. All right, Blah, we have the Ralts. Um... You could not trade Kafagrigus because it was auto-filtered out by its own profanity filter. Um, also, so glad I know how to actually pronounce Kafagrigus, because that's definitely not how I said it when I was a kid. Um, you know, we'll I, said catch... it, I, said, I said it the wrong way. If we can catch another sure. one, that'd be really cool. But apparently a there's a, a Pokemon in here. Uh, it's probably a Volcarona in the base game. Of course, in ours, it's going to be different. Uh, I'm going to send you, by the way, one of the artworks. This is the official Octopath Traveler 5th Anniversary artwork. Ooh, and like just a, just appreciate it. Isn't there an so Octopath mobile game now? It's, there has been for years. It came out before, too. But um, didn't the Americas just get it recently? Because we didn't have uh, it. 
it, uh, you could you could get it, but yes, I believe there's an official Western release uh, as of like a year ago. Um, I've thought about it. I just don't need another gotcha game, but at the same time, completely fair. At the same time, I do love that series and that franchise, so it probably wouldn't be the craziest thing for me to try. The it's called Champions of the Continent because apparently it also has its own storyline that's also very good. It's like has a full RPG system in it. Um, it is itself an RPG. It just also has gotcha stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and there's been some cool. There was a Bravely Default 2 crossover. They added some stuff from Octopath 2. So there's some really neat things. Um, but I need you to look at that artwork and using this fresh art. Uh, who was your favorite? Um. Can the cat with the top hat be my favorite? Well, that's a that is a Kate. Uh, that is just it's like the rare enemy that drops lots of experience. It's like the metal slime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Kates and Octopuffs are both Octopuffs were introduced in two, but yeah, they're the like high reward rare. I like the like, hard to kill monster. The happy cleric girl in the back seems like nothing bad ever happened to her ever. Um. Uh, she's wonderful, and she's one of my favorites. Also, a lot of bad things happened to her. <laughs> yeah, I figured it did. Um, but her whole, like, her whole vibe is she's just, like, relentlessly optimistic. Also, and, the, and the dungeon is another encounter, by the way, because it's separate. Oh, shit, so we're at eight. So let's do three fusions. We can do that. That's probably okay. Um, yes, Ophelia, the cleric. She has, in my opinion in Octopath 1, she has, like, my favorite final boss, final chapter. Um, it's very good. Um, Alright, are we ready? Yes. I'm glad you picked Ophelia. I'm glad that's the one. I, I really like Alfin. He's the guy on the left. The, the, like, happy guy with the big... Yeah. He's the apothecary, and in these games the apothecaries are always secret badasses. They're always, like... I just want to help people, but also I will, like, murder you if I need to. All right. Spin that wheel. Ooh, it's my choice. Okay, if you get if you get a my choice now... Well, we don't have a Dunsparce yet, right? I think we, we don't have, have a, we don't we have have a Dunsparce Vibrava, yet. We don't have a Dunsparce. Okay, but one is yours. Okay. With a... Soft Pokemon. A soft Pokemon. Fuck. So let's let's pick the. I guess we can just pick the combo. Let's pick the soft first if we can. All right. And then you can pick something to go with it. Um. Fuck. Do we'll do. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sniffly. Eevee soft. I'm gonna go blow my nose. With Swinub or or or, ver or whatever the little. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Eevee and Swine Up are both soft. Let's see here. You have a third box now, too. Yep. Ditto's not soft. Oh my god, but no. you know what it is? Volpix. Volpix is soft? Awesome. Oh, we have, um, Whimsicott and, uh, Hot Whimsicott is also soft. Yeah, we got Whimsicott. Uh, we have Snorlax. I think he, like, technically would be soft, but eh, I don't think he counts for this on the wheel. Um, who do you want to fuse with, though? Who, like, who's jumping out at you? I kind of need another electric Pokemon. <laughs> we don't really have one. We don't. We didn't get one tonight, though. We have a Pikachu. We have a Lantern. I have this Joltik just chilling here. What level is the Joltik? 22. 22? Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because we have the super things. We do have a peak. We have access to a Pikachu. Yeah. Um, a decently leveled one as well. We also have access to a Mary, but that was soft, but he's level four. Oh, we already did an Ampharos fusion, though. Yeah. Um, we have a Sentret. That's soft. Yeah. Um... We have a Chin Chow. We have two Chin Chows now, because we have the Mankey one. Oh. I think that Chin Chow Cubone one was a wonder. I don't think you could unfuse that one. We have a Bidoof. 
Yeah. For soft. Is would Dino bees? Dino? Dino? Uh, Dino. Is it soft? I wouldn't think so. It's scaly. Yeah, okay. But it can be your choice if you want it to be your choice. Nah, that's fine. Slackoth is probably soft. He's fluffy. Yeah, I mean, you can give something not truant, right? <laughs> you can give something slaking stats without truant. Oh my god. Bro, Joltik Slacky Slacky. Joltik Slackoth would be really fun because it would give Joltik better stats. Though you would have to evolve it. That's the only problem. Is it would need to evolve yeah. before it would get to... Because what level is Slaking? Slaking evolves at level... 36, so actually you could very easily get to a Slaking. Does Gar I'm assuming Garvantula doesn't have... Garvantula Slackoth doesn't have a um, custom sprite. Galvantula. I'm going to go straight to the end. I'm going to go Galvantula Slacking. Yeah. There's a custom sprite. Is it electric? It's bug normal. Fuck! Um, Fuck. What about Pikachu Slacking? Yeah, what about Pikachu Slacking? Or I guess Raichu. Raichu Slacking has an electric normal custom sprite. Is it good? It's all right. <laughs> if I'm being if I'm being entirely honest, it's a, it's all right. Um, what other electric Pokemon do we have? You don't we don't need an electric type. Electric's good against flying and it's good against water. Oh, I guess that's true. We really don't need electric. Okay, so it's like slack off. But yeah, slack off, which we can go slack off Snorlax. With some slack, slack off Snorlax. Off. Both forms have custom sprites. They're both monotype normal, obviously. That's an option. Are they good sprites? Yeah, one of them's pretty good. The one that uses the slaking body plan, which also has way higher stats, too. Way higher. Uh, yes. Um, much higher BST. Uh, so slack, sl Snorlax slacking would be a great one. That'd be kind of neat. And we don't, and it would be our strength mod. It could be the strength. Oh, dude, monotype strength with that's those stats. Yeah, with slaking stats or at least some slaking stats. Fuck, and it's only only weak to fighting. Yes, that's his only weakness. Yeah, I think that's a solid pick. That's a fucking beefy Pokemon. I say that. I say that counts. Just make sure you do your super. Um, super splicers yeah. on at least on this one for sure because yeah. i think you're going to use this one <laughs> 27 with thick fat i mean you just want not truant that's the only thing that matters uh yes and, and then um, um, but the slack off is level three it doesn't you use a super it'll just take the higher level will it yeah that's how it works okay. that's what the super does so this could work just fine uh, so which one am I doing? The left or the you right? You want the you want the uh, Slay King Slay off body plan. So it's so gonna be the one the on left. the left. Yeah, because it's still a slack off. Yeah. Yes. But then we can go fight that fucking Chansey or Blissey and like <laughs> the, they'll level up the, immediately. It has custom sprites. It looks like the whole way through, and they're actually all really good. So this oh, that's so great! Good. He's so this cute. Yep. I like him. So right now, he's still going to kind of suck, but... All right, we want immunity. I will never get poisoned. Yeah. And uh, then you want... We want a neutral nature, just neutral. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are we naming this thing? We don't need Lick. Fuck Lick. Get out of here. Or like fuck. Um, we are uh, we are moving Robocrop. Yeah, yeah. Go put him in the correct box. He's going. He's going. I also need to grab that that that. Um, Chimcho Chimcho Cubone because it can't be unused. Yeah. Right, um. All right. I say. Are you ready for the next fusion? Well, you need to name this thing first. Oh, we do need to name it. What are we gonna name it? 
I mean, I think it'd be kind of funny to name him Slowbro. <laughs> that is pretty funny, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll name him that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. Slow. Bro. Not confusing at all. Correct. At all. Alright, here we go. Alright, spin the wheel again. Spin that wheel! And if we get a weird, bad fusion combo, we'll use regular fuse splicers. Okay. Um, we have... Edgy. Oh, we, we've gotten so much edgy. Uh, edgy. But go ahead. He's edging. With. Okay. With. With. Pretty, pretty. Okay, finally an interesting edgy use. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so. We uh... have. We have Talonflame. That's an edgy Pokemon. Talonflame is, in fact, very edgy. He's fucking edgy. Um, um, we have... Is Nitto King, like, Norino Nitto King? La, what do you got? I'd say Nitto Reno. I'd say that's edgy. I'd say Pidgeot's also edgy. I would say Pidgeot's also edgy. He has the big old mohawk. He's edgy. Yeah. As, he's edgy as hell. Routes and Dino? Dino's not edgy, though. Well, is... I guess kinda. Oh. Yeah... I mean, he is. He's an emo kid. I want to save the Routes fusion for, like, a good one. We have two Routes. I caught two of them. Okay, fair. Okay, so hold on. Routes. There would be Gardevoir. High Dragon. Those are some good fusions. Those I caught... Good sprites. I caught two of them. You could do Routes. Dino... But I don't know if you're going to use that. I guess you could... If you used one of the forms, you would have Dark Fairy. Dark Fairy sounds good. That's uh, the one gen, the Sword and Shield guy, right? He's Dark Grimmsnarl. Fairy. Grimmsnarl. Isn't yeah, he Grimmsnarl. really? He's pretty good. Yeah, Grimmsnarl's really good. That's, we that's need to a, do a Ditto Fusion. That's an option. Yeah. Um, Another edgy Pokemon. Hone Edge. Hone Edge is edgy. Go ahead and do the unfusion on the hone edge because we're probably we're we're gonna be interested in that. I just know that we're gonna want to use that at some point. It's not high enough level to. Do. No. I just don't care. Because you can super splice with the. Oh, with it's the a Cyndaquil. We already have a Typhlosion though. Well, hone edge. What's a pretty Pokemon that would be good to fuse with hone edge though? Ralts. Please tell me it's a Gardevoir just holding fucking swords. Oh, yeah, you want that, I think, actually. Steel Fairy, you want that fusion, actually. Hone Edge, Hone Edge Routes. It's a very common one. It's, uh, but it's very cool. Here's Is the it? thing. It's really fucking cool, Blah. Blah, do you agree? The Steel Fairy version, to be clear. Steel Technically, fairy. yeah. The um, no, but Hone no. Edge is edgy. Yeah, he is edgy. He has edge in his name. Yeah, Hone Edge is edgy, and then Routes is pretty. Is she? Everybody wants to fuck Ooh, the Gardevoir. What's, what's Gallade? What's Gallade? Just slash look like. Oh, that's way worse. I, we never specified how we had to interpret the wheel. I think Route's Hone Edge would be would be very cool, and the sprite is very good. We don't even have to use it right now, but it's a good backup. We can use it, that's and, fine. And also Steel Fairy is a typing we don't have. We'll do it. That's good. I'm doing the Route's Steel Fairy one. Yeah, you want the... It um, is her just holding swords. You want the Route's body plan, the Steel Fairy, yeah. Yeah, it is just her holding swords. Yeah, I'm sure it has custom sprites all the way. It's a Jedi. Um, what do we name it? Padme? It's a Jedi. We'll name it the one character who's definitely not a Jedi. Yeah. Asuka would be more appropriate. 
What? Or what? Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Yeah, whatever. Uh, passes a burn to the so foe. Ensures attacks by or against the Pokemon um, land. It, the only thing I'll point out here is you probably actually don't want Modest, shockingly, because this body plan has a better... Oh, wait, no. Your special attack is still better, even though it is well, worse. Well, it's either that or, or Relax, which is speed down. Oh, yeah, then do Modest. Do we want Synchronize or No Guard? Probably Synchronize. Um... I mean, no guard is cool. No guard means you never miss, but nothing ever. You misses want no guard? You. Okay. Oh, but yeah, but this is the whole thing is the ability. You that'll get you stance change, which is the cool. How does stance change work in this blah? <gasps> but I guess your sprite just doesn't change, but it just alters your stats. I don't want pursuit. Okay, um, we could we could name it. What are we naming it? Think of a fucking weird Jedi name. I, again, I have to fucking pee because I drink so much water during this time, and I have to refill my water because I'm hungry. So think of a name, quick, go. For this one. Oh God, he. I just want ah Ahsoka. If we, if we said it would look like a Jedi, then Ahsoka is fine. Yeah, you have to have King Shield. I mean, but like, all, I mean, King Shield's really good, and we will get it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess what it does, apparently, what Stance Change does is it does just flip flop your offensive and your defensive stats, which I guess I remember that's actually how it works. When you use King Shield, you become defensive, and when you use an attacking move. You become offensive again. What the? Oh, this drinking so much water thing is great and also terrible for me. No, it's not <laughs> terrible for you. It's very great for you. You should be, <laughs> you should be pissing clear. Uh, yeah, every like fucking hour. Um, you can do. You can do more. Ahsoka. I don't know if I'm that's actually do... how you spell her name. Uh, there's an H. There's an H right in the front. More Octopath art. Okay. Um, we have one more fusion, and then we'll go to the temple again. Right. Yes, what we'll do three and then and we'll then... save five and then we'll go do Nope, why would you do that? There we go. Alright, three, two, one, spin that wheel. Oh this time it's a Joe's choice. Ooh, and what? With And how. A Legendary? We don't have any legendary. We let's double check before we spin again. Uh, we might have one. I don't think we do. I don't think we do, but let's double check. I'm not hiding the wheel because I'm just gonna blaze through. I'm pretty sure. No one will believe you. I won't believe you. God. Uh, fine. We don't. We don't have one though. We've only caught one legendary so far. I should have made it legendary pseudo legendary on the wheel. What? Because we have a bunch of pseudo legend. I should have made it instead of just legendary. I should have made it legendary slash pseudo legendary. I mean, we could do that just now. That's I fine. mean, we could just alter the wheel. Because just... in ret in retrospect, we just don't have any other legendaries, and like I don't think we're going to suddenly get. But some. the only pseudo legendary we have is like Tyranitar. And Dino. Is he a pseudo? And does yeah. he have does he have the stats for it? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. He's the pseudo of his gen. We also have um pretty sure we've got a Gibble or a Gibbite somewhere. Yeah, we, we have a Gibble. We do right here. He's a he's a he's a pseudo. Yeah, Garchomp is. Garchomp's um, insane. Uh, what's on what's on box three? But yeah, you can go alter the wheel whenever you want and make it pseudo legendary as well. I fucking love this guy. God damn. 
I know, he's so good. So fucking good. Okay, so well, pseudo plus my choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that. so that's, that's fine. the pseudos we have, we double checked. We've got Dino, we've got Axew, we've got which we already have an Axew fusion, so we're probably not gonna do that, but we have it. Uh Aerodactyl's not, right? No. Nope. Um Yeah, then that's Dino, Axew, and Titar. And Gibite. And Gibite. Okay. Because Flygon is not a pseudo. Salamence is Flygon. We already killed one Titar fusion. Can we try again? Yeah, we probably could. Tyranitar. But and now Tyranitar. it's an actual T-Tar and it has stats. Yeah, we can just go straight to the T-Tar and it <laughs> probably won't die right away. I want to. I just want to see what T-Tar unknown is. Oh my god, we're not going to do this. Because it would be very bad. But like, I do need you to see what this sprite looks like because it's actually very cool. Okay. That sprite's incredible. That is pretty it, cool. It's, it's like just a, a shame that it would be very bad. It's like the, the portal of truth for uh, Full Metal. Very cool. So, very cool. what's in box three? What's some of the cool recent stuff we got? Uh, I'll be honest. I'll just do it. We got a Ditto. Oh my god. We have Ditto. I don't actually think that would be. It actually doesn't have a custom sprite. We have a Caesar. What would be a good combo? Because we don't have dark. Because Petrie's not dark, right? He's ground flying, I think. He's no, he's ground dark. No, he's got Aerodactyl, so he's either rock or flying. Or is he ground rock? What is he? Oh, damn, he's ground flying. Um. We do have a Mudkip now. We oh, have, we also we, we have an Empoleon. I mean, we also have a Gyarados. How do we have we have Magic Carp? Yeah, it would evolve in one level though. Yeah, we have Magic and a Gyarados. Um, is is Gyarados Tyranitar a thing? Has to be. Oh yeah, there's it's a custom sprite. I'm looking at it. Uh it would be I mean it'd be pretty good, all things considered. Um ooh, what about that? That's oh oh hell yeah. What's up? Oh hell yeah. Hit me. Titar Steelix. Oh that's pretty cool. Is it going to slap? Do you want... I think I want to do the Steel Dark one. Steel Dark sounds pretty good. Which isn't like the best... It's not the better stats. I'll be honest. Those are your DNA splicers because they're the same level. They're both 22? Yeah. Okay. And you want the T-Tar body plan. Okay. The other one is also really good. And it honestly has better stats. But the... The... This is just too cool. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he looks awesome. Bro. I told you. you he's like very, very... He's shit. got the Mega Steelix crystals. He looks like some shit out of a movie. What the fuck? And I think you need to call him... Um... um Some sort of Godzilla pun. Yeah, just kaiju or something. You know, just make him some kind of neutral nature is good. Sandstream or Rockhead? Uh, probably Rockhead. Yeah, we don't need to be fucking up the rest of our team with Sandstorm if we do actually use this thing. We don't have to use it now. Uh, call it, um... Geozilla. That's actually... Uh... Yeah, not the best stats in the world, but like terrible. Are we? Sh are we? Um, you are. You are slow. Yeah. Slow as hell. Yeah, not as slow as if you had done the other body plan, but yeah, it's it's a slow Pokemon. Smackdown. And you're still dark, so ultimately you do want a rock move. Or sorry, excuse me, you do want a dark move if we can get one. There was not one, but we could go to the move trainer if we if we if we need it. Him. Yeah. 
I don't think you need to use him. I think our team's good right now. He's with, really cool. With the, uh... Oh, God. Um... With the other thing we fused. What was the first thing we fused? I already forgot. The, the Snorlax. Yeah, because we want slacking stats. Without Which, it. which can... we should go train up. Or do you just want to go to the Blissey for five minutes? Yeah, we can do that. What level is it? The Blissey's 20... Oh, 34. It's 22? 25? 27. This thing is 27. Um, it'll get it'll get a couple levels. Yeah. It evol it's slacking at level 36. If we can get it to 36, then that thing is good for the rest of the game because it'll have busted stats. Uh, we need Cerulean. Alright. Oh, we can uh, get on our... Oh, yeah, the bike was unregistered because now it's a different bike. Oh, hell yeah, we're fast as lightning. Oh, God. So fast. Um, I thought it was here. The Blissey? Yeah. No, it's oh, e I'm in Cerulean. It's in Celadon. I was about to say, it's east of Celadon, right? It's Celadon. I'm in Cerulean. I'm stupid. Only sometimes. God dang it. There we go. Here we are. Oh boy. Slow, bro. Now just don't die to the slack off is still weak as hell. So well, we can die to it because it's just training. This is well, I know, but like you don't want to. Uh, oh yeah, we don't want to uh, actually. It's just like you need the experience, so like you, right now you don't stay yet. <laughs> uh, we just drain claw, call it a day. Yeah. I mean, I also kind of need to level train the party because we were getting kind of. Yeah, I don't think Randall. Sh I know that Randall can make quick work of this, but I think you should be using your other Pokemon. Cause like, look. <laughs> Petri can't tank it. I mean, it might be able to at this point. Mm -mm. Oh, let's use a waterfall. Excuse me. So no. Mm -hmm. But August Phoebe, can tank it, though. August and Phoebe can do it. August is level thirty-eight, so we need to train him a little bit more. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm game, I guess, has been getting like DLC tracks. Yep. And the it's getting five uh, Octopath songs. Yep. We apparently. knew that already, though. We knew it was going to do. No, it. it's like DLC. It's getting five more. Oh, f uh, five additional. Yeah. Because it already had some. It already had a couple. It's getting five more. That's really cool. Do we want to learn the snore rest combo? I don't think we do. Oh. One sec. That was worry seed. You set their ability to be insomnia, so it's a way of overriding somebody's ability. Fucking terrible. I mean, it's situational, um, but like, it can be good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. Slowbro evolving. That's gonna give a high five like a bro. Oh, that's a good sprite. Holy shit. It is a really good one. You're going to like the last one, I think, too. That's to get it to level 36, right? Yep, 36, which isn't bad. Like, I don't think it's going to take very long, very long. It'll take a little bit of time, but not crazy. You might be able to handle this fight. It's no, about... It's almost 20. level 20. It's almost level 29, which is nice, but... No. Yeah. This thing this this thing hurts. This thing does a lot of damage. It has yeah, it has Sea King's attack, clearly.
And it's crazy fast. It is very. It's also got seeking speed, but it's also got Blissey's health. <laughs> Razor Leaf is such just garbage. I mean, if you die, just just stay in, and then if you die... Wow, it crit me. Fuck me. Okay, now go finish it off with, with Slowbro. It will die. No, it won't die in one hit. It will die. It will not die in one hit. Mm. Oh, but we flinch, so fuck me. But you don't die in two hits either. We fucking flinch twice, so it doesn't matter. I just flinched three times, by the way, because my, um, the Venusaur also got flinched. Well, that was useless. That was a waste. I mean, it's not a waste. You got a bunch of experience on Petri, which you also needed. No, oh, that's 2,000 experience. The worst case scenario is just somebody else got the experience. Waste. I need my Pokemon to be stronger. Man, if only we had the experience here. Right, because we fucked up our randomizer. Well, I thought it was supposed to be a quest, but... I know, I know. We, we know. And I didn't it's randomize it. quest things. Buy Sam this bitch. Let's see how we do, yeah, when oh, we, we don't... we paralyzed it. Okay. But you do not do enough damage. The only way you win this is if you get really lucky. I mean, you could rest and snore because, like, I guess why not? Oh, that seems bad. I mean, snore is, I'm pretty sure snore sucks. Uh, it, yeah. Because it's not, you're not thinking, of, it's not sleep talk. Sleep talk. Yes, yeah, sleep talk's the good one. Yes, but snore is just not good. We want sleep talk. The one where it will use one of our other moves. Correct. Snore is just a move that you can use. It's like, you use rest, good, sleep talk, and then we have, like, Giga Impact. Yeah. And strength. Which I guess you do have Giga Impact as a TM still, which is also going to be really good. Bruh. Also, just teach it strength now. Bruh. Like, Bruh. it's already a normal Bruh. type with good attack. You should just teach it strength now. Oh, yeah, we should do it. You're right. I forgot we had strength already. <laughs> um... I think it's better. It, I think it's a little bit more powerful than Body Slam, but I could be wrong. Body Slam is a really good move, so... We'll just get rid of Snore right now. That's true. They can't yeah. paralyze. Strength, I think, is a power 80. I can't remember if Body Slam is 80 or 90. I think it's 80. It just has the paralysis chance. Hmm. <sighs> Wow, 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 wow. There we go. August level 40. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We still have yep. Hex. Um, um, I don't think we do. Eh, maybe not. We're not... The problem is, is we're not hitting them with... Um, are, we physical, are we a physical attacker? Uh, I'd have to... We'd have to see. I don't... I don't know. I don't remember... Oh, hi, Thundir. Thundir's here! This is cool. Are we? Let me look. It also depends on IVs and EVs and stuff. Uh, we're, we're, we're close. We're neutral. Either way. We're neutral right now, but we have more attack, technically, than we do have special attack. Okay, so either really, but like, yeah. Oh, yeah, strength. Yeah. And compare it to Body Slam, just because I don't remember the powers involved, but... I mean, he also... It might learn other interesting moves. Uh, body Slam is 85, Strength is 80. Actually, Body Slam is better. Uh... Oh, wow, and it has... I thought it didn't have 100% accuracy. Okay. Well, I mean, you still... it. For now, we still need it until we get the Strength thing. But yeah. Okay, good to know. We need to get the whatever that strength item is, right? Yeah. So get toxic. <laughs> that was bad.
Stop. I mean, I'm five levels above you, and you still are faster than me. I mean, I know Venusaur's slow, but like, come on. Dusclops is also slow. Alright, time to go heal or use an item. You need to get yourself one of these. One with a straw. Uh, I don't like really drinking my straws too much. I like these cups because we got them at the Rose game and they're like, they're big and they're... Oh, I like them. I'm very much a straw guy. Getting, a good tumbler goes a long way. My wife it's is great. big it's, with straws. It's great for next to the bed because in the night, if I knock this thing off the table, all I do, or the nightstand, all I do is wake up Jaden and the dogs instead of also spilling water everywhere, which I have done on multiple occasions. Oh, I don't, I, hmm. I don't, can't really remember how many times I spilled water before. On the nightstand, definitely a few times. Not since I've gotten the cup, but... And I try to be just mindful of it now. Are we level 30? And we're beefy? Can we, can we do this? You might be able to two-shot it with Body Slam. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. It hit us with Rock Blast times four while we were just like chatting stuff about some things and it just died. Yeah, it did do that. It, it did do that. No, it was we just were, a. No, it was just a random ass trainer. It was trainer. a random trainer. <laughs> we were just straight up. On, it was on the cycling road. We just straight up were not paying attention. But like, that was progress. That was a dungeon, so to speak, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I actually told you this, Titus. What's up? In, in, in case somebody hasn't said it yet, I just... Tears of the Kingdom... Good. ...has dungeons. Yeah! If you didn't already know. I didn't. It also has shrines. It has both. It has both? And the dungeons are not exactly like they used to be, in, in so far as, like, it's just a matter of finding keys. The overall design is still close-er to the Breath of the Wild dungeons, where it's just, like, a big area with a bunch of puzzles to do. Mm -hmm. But I still think they are... But they are they are dungeons, and they are good. I also like the Breath of the Wild ones, to be clear. But I think these dungeons are also really, really good. So, um, that's all I wanted to say, because you probably hadn't heard that yet. Uh, they're good. I've officially done basically all of the dungeons at this point. Michael beat the game last night. I got a text very late in the evening, right as I was going to bed, that uh, he had managed to beat beat the game. Nice job, nice job. So, I at some point I will. I want to do more side stuff first, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do all the side stuff. I'll probably do a bunch of it, and then just go ahead and say, I fuck it. I just need to not be spoiled, and then go beat the boss, and then just continue to play the game and get mm. all the other side things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, like, I want to have as much of that stuff for the end because that feels right to me, but I just... I'm already seeing spoilery-type things about Endgame, and I just don't... And then you could take a little break and play Final Fantasy XVI. Number one, that would not be a little break. Um, and number two, Sea of Stars is too soon. Sea of Stars is in a month. In sea of a Stars week. is soon, 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 soon. Yeah, I gotta beat 16 by the Admittedly, I don't actually have any other games I'm playing right now. Yeah, you take a break and kind of just, like, chill. I mean, I'm, like, I could play something really quick and small, like an indie game or something. Um, or just get more shit on Tears. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing. Tears, there's going to be... There's endless stuff to do. Also, I have... Um, um, uh, God damn it. Words? This happens to be all the goddamn time. I'm, I'm gonna, my brain's gonna explode one day. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I have books I'm reading. Oh, well, there you go. But like, I want to play Planet of Lana. That's a short game. That season game is out. The one with the lady on the bike. Oh yeah. Like that's been out for months, and I want to play it. Has it been out for um, months? Yeah, it's been out for a long time. Bro, why does this fucking bitch hurt so much? I need why am I faster? You're faster now? The slow bro is faster, dog! 
you're faster now. Um, I also want to play Sable because that finally made its way to PlayStation a while back, and that was supposed to be super fun. Counter. So like, do we learn Counter? Do those things. Do you, I think you do learn Counter? I think that's kind of cracked. I think you get rid of Scratch. <laughs> it's just a fighting move. It's not stab. It's Counter. It doesn't do. It does fix damage. Oh, we got, we got Sleep Talk. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We have Sleep Talk. Oh. Sleep Talk is just better Instead than of... Counter. Yes, because you're going to use either Body Slam or Strength. I don't think Sleep Talk can use Rest, though honestly it might. I it wouldn't be can't. I don't think it can. I don't think it can either, but I don't know for sure. Because here's the thing, too. If you rest and you're still asleep at the end of the battle, when you start the next battle, you'll still be asleep. The timer will be reset and you can just spam... The only problem, the only problem with sleep talk, of course, is what if you wake up, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So now you use sleep talk. Fire slam. Paralyzed it. Sleep talk. You spam that until you wake up, and then you rest again, and you spam it until you. Oh, wake it can't use rest. Fuck. Okay, I didn't think it could. That's dumb. So maybe say. that's not as good then. I think it can, unfortunately. And then now you woke up. This is why Sleep Talk kind of sucks. All right, maybe we don't do that then. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this move kills us. Oh, it nope. used agility to get faster, but it doesn't matter. Weird that it did that. Uh, no, it it still could be faster than you. Paral Paralysis just cuts your speed in half. If you're faster, you can be faster while paralyzed. It does not just set your priority. It just cuts your speed in half. I guess. It can happen. It's not common, but like, if you're min-maxing, it can happen. See, the only thing that's cool is the Sleep Talk Giga Impact interaction, because then you don't have the charge up. I, I guess I don't know if that would work or not. You right. can check. Thunder, is that how it works? Would it I let you skip the recharge? I feel like you would still recharge. No, because it's using the sleep talk to use another move. I know, but then I think you, I think it would still recharge, but I don't know. Let me look at how it works in the in the actual games. Sleep talk. Oh right, I forgot about Komala. It's a shame Komala sucks. Oh, it just learns Giga Impact by itself. Okay. I mean... Interesting. Sleep Talk can call moves that are, like, disabled or otherwise, like... Um... Like, if you have an, uh, a move like Taunt or something like that that prevents yeah. you from using moves, Sleep Talk will still work. It'll still use moves successfully. Interesting. Sleep Talk ignores a move's priority, so because Sleep Talk itself doesn't have priority. So does it get rid Interesting. of Interesting. In the early gens, if you called rest, you would recover your HP. Now it doesn't work that way. Sorry, what were you going to say? Does it do the um, thing? Um, I'm skip, right the, the, skip the rest. It doesn't say anything about any special interactions, so I would assume the move functions as normal. Damn. Because so it doesn't. We just get like rid of nothing talk. in here. Yeah, nothing here actually says anything about. I always get rid of sleep talk then. Recharging. <laughs> We're one level away. Yeah. From being a fucking monstrosity. Yeah, okay. You hate the sleep set? Yeah. So should we just get rid of rest as well? I mean, rest is not a bad move. It's pretty good. Like, in a pinch. Because then you can poke a flute. You could poke a flute if you really needed to. And also just, like, in general. if you Again, if you needed to. So after this, are we going to take one more stab at trying to get through the, the temple or whatever? Yeah. Oh, I missed shit. You don't have you don't have to recharge when you miss though, so. 
Oh, he missed twice in a row. It's 95 fucking accuracy. Like, fucking be better. Jesus. Kill me here. I was going to say that. I don't know damage. if that was the call because now you're. Gonna... Well, if we didn't miss three times, if you didn't and miss then get twice. fucking yeah, yeah, crit. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Just try P3. He can just try. He's not going to get one shot. He's a strong attacker. He needs to evolve soon anyways. Jesus Christ. The crunch will kill. I don't know if it will. Yeah, it will. It's not stab. It absolutely... It's stronger than... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It, it would absolutely have killed. <laughs> Foul play, brother. Now we're talking... Shit. Bro, they're the friends. same. They're the same. Dig is actually better because it's stab. Oh, Dig is not. I thought Dig was 60, not 80. No, right. Dig is absolutely 60 in the base game. Uh, it's actually 80 right now. No, oh, Dig is 80. Get I mean, in Gen 1, fucked. Dig was. Fun fact in Gen 1, Dig hey. was as powerful as Earthquake, it had Good power 100. Lot. 60 is still better, Stab. Yeah, with Stab, it's better. Finally, we get the cool new sprite. I'll go oh, he looks so player. good! Oh, he looks good. He this looks is really what good. this is what we were going for, right? Aerodactyl and Krook. Also, Krookodile, is, it, your stats just went through the goddamn roof. So now that Pokemon is an absolute beast. Like, Looks good. Croc a rock. So your BST just went from 437. 437. Our up speed to is 109. Our attack is 104. I think we have more attack or close to more attack than Randall. Maybe. Yeah. No, we're close though. <laughs> First of all, your main thing, it appears to be that you're. Well, yeah, either way. Your stats just got a lot better. Yeah, Kruk is actually insane. Moxie is also really good, which I don't know if we have Moxie. We do. We do have Moxie? We okay. Do. Oh yeah, Anger Point's the hidden ability. Yeah, if you can actually get Earthquake, then we're then we're nuts. Stab Earthquake actually insane. Probably should teach you probably should just teach it fly, to be honest. Because yes. fly has a base, it can miss, but it has a base power of like ninety. Yep, and it and you get to get missed as well, which is nice. Yeah. Paralyzed, and it didn't get to move. Suck on my balls, bitch. So, Figaroth plus Snorlax. Here we go. Your base stat right now is five twenty, and it's about to jump to six thirty three. What? <laughs> Fucking what? Which, to be clear, is insane. <laughs> also, having one weakness is incredible. Yeah, also, yeah, you can throw him in against anything. Bro, he looks so good! Yeah, and there's your sp you're gonna need that sprite as well. I sent you a sprite earlier that you don't actually need. Yeah, that's the thing about slack. It's it's kind of cheating to use slacking because slacking without truant is just insane. He's a pseudo. He's not. He's not a pseudo. No, because he has with truant. truant. But without truant, he's a pseudo. Oh, he's stronger than pseudos. His BST is better. He's just not a pseudo officially. Pseudos are very specific subs. It's there's only like eight of them or whatever, right? It's the Dratini line, the Larvitar line. Um, I think one Sonics. gen. I want to say that Metagross also is actually a pseudo legendary. I believe so. I think it's like the only gen that has two. Pseudo legendary Pokemon. Okay, yeah, actually, so it's a fan term. It's not an official term. But it has a. There's a very specific set of requirements. Right, they have to be, they have to be a three-stage evolution. Garchomp. They need to take one and a quarter million experience to reach level 100. They have to have a base stat total of exactly 600. Mm. 
the list of pseudo legendary Pokemon according to the most common definition are. It's going to be these Pokemon and also all their pre evolutions Dragonite, mm -hmm. Tyranitar, mm -hmm. Salamence, mm -hmm. Metagross, mm -hmm. Garchomp, mm -hmm. Hydreigon, mm -hmm. Gudra. Wow. Como no Haxorus. Not Haxorus. Wow, that's crazy. Como O, Dragapult. And then Baxcalibur, which is the new one from Scarlet Violet. Yeah, Dragon, Dragonbolt's really, really good. Dragonbolt's really good. You like I mean, Gudra? Baxcal I don't. Baxcalibur is also good. I don't care for Gudra. I like Hisui and Gudra more, but I do really like Gudra. Hisui is a Steel Dragon. And the new one in Scarlet Violet's an Ice Dragon. This thing has more attack than the... the, the... Probably anything else on, yeah, probably anything else on your team. It's 120. It's it's like it's like six levels lower and it has more. Yeah. Are you one shotting this thing now? Uh, I'm gonna try to get an impact and see. Giga nope, impact. but close. No. Okay. <laughs> it is a blissey, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But also, also you're we're faster than ever. it. <laughs> yes, Slate King's also fast. I... The only thing holding Slate King back is that Truant sucks. Yeah, Truant's fucking rough. And it is completely easy to cheese because you can just protect. Right? Like, Truant is completely ridiculous. Yeah. Makes that garbage Pokemon actually fucking busted. Wait until you find Regigigas. Yeah, a, a Regigigas would be good. Because it's similar, no slow start. I think Slake King, though, has a comparable BST. To... Spoiled, so Slacking's BST... So just for the record, um, Pseudos, we just determined, have 600 BST. Yeah. Slacking has a BST of... Where is it? I love Bulbapedia, but they organize their information. Weird. Slacking's BST is 670. Wow. Hello. What are legendaries? Like, what is... Um... I mean, legendaries vary, but... What is, They're like... Done? What is, like, Rayquaza's base stats? So we... Uh, so we just determined that 670 is slacking. Rayquaza is 680. Wow. Only um, 10 lower? Holy only shit. 10 lower. Reggie Gigas is 670. Is also 670, yeah. It's just got, it's just stats are differently distributed, of course. I think Reggie Gigas has more attack and less HP. And, and maybe less special attack, unknown. We're also technically we should trainer. now that Now that slacking is done. You should, um... I'm almost... It's almost level 40 with the rest of the team. Well, you should check your TMs again, because Slacking can learn a lot of different things. Um... So it's worth at least meandering through... I don't know if there's any, any, any normal move that we want to give it. Well, we already have a good normal move, so you can just give it some coverage. Mm. It, can you learn, learn, it can learn a ton of stuff. You can learn, like, Aerial Ace. Also go to the Move Relearn. Oh, that's not a bad Yeah, thing. Move Relearner. Yeah, punch moves. You can teach it. We don't have. You can teach it thunder punch. Probably. That's that's actually pretty good to do. Um, the main thing would be would be if you could teach it a psychic or a dark move, something to deal with um, fighting types. We need something to deal with fairies. Sorry, psychic or flying. We have flying. We have we have flying covered. No, with for Petri. slacking. Slacking. If he gets if a if a fighting type comes in and you don't want to switch. Oh. You can give him a coverage move specifically to deal with fighting types, because it's his one weakness. Mm. Move relearner is upstairs. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, I need to trim my beard. It's so itchy. Hammer arm. Oh, that's interesting. Oh! That's 
is really good to know. It's a Tears of the Kingdom thing. There's not a lot here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna DM Michael that on Discord. All right, let me look in the bag. Um, Dragon Claw, bulk up. Venom Shock, Ice Beam, Protect, Dig, Double Team, Sky Drop, Giga Impact, Bolt Switch, Dream Eater, Rock Smash, Sky Drop. Apparently, I was just reading Sky Drop was apparently banned in a bunch of, uh, um, for a long time in competitive because it had, uh, like an easily, there's a glitch. You can make your Pokemon invincible, um, by using Sky Drop. Sky Drop is just fly, except your opponent also gets lifted up into the air. It's only 60. Yeah, it's not It's not a very good move. Um, fly is base power 90. But it's 100% accuracy. Which is true, which is a good advantage that fly doesn't get. And we don't need fly because we have teleport. But it's so a you good could move. Also, you could also get rid of teleport. Maybe they also buffed fly. It's 90. It's still 90, 90, 90. Oh, but it's 95. I thought it was 90. Okay. Yeah. I say just take fly instead of assurance. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go run this dungeon real quick. Or do we want to do fusions? Be... Let's do one attempt at the dungeon, and then we'll do as many fusions as we have time for. I don't know if we will. We'll see. And like next time, if we if we struggle with it, like eventually, if we need to, I'll just pull up a damn map of the place. But I'd like to try to do it yeah. ourselves if we can. It, I mean, it's the temple or whatever it is. It is like it's I don't know. What is it? What's it supposed to be called? Thundir? Enlighten us. Ruins? What do you want? It's the like. Sand Temple or something. Ruins of Alf? I love this guy. Oh my god. Oh, it's the Ruins of Alf? I thought an NPC called it something and we just haven't been. Yeah, you say he called it a attention. dungeon. Or some shit. Shit, there's a item right there. Got an awakening. Shit. Yeah, I thought the ruins of Alf was the um the unknown thing. Right? Isn't it the unknown thing? Yeah, it's unknown. The unknown. The unknown. Into the unknown. Yeah, I know you don't. That's a full fucking restore, brother. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, I, we were talking about this earlier. I'm sure there's room for some spare steps, but I'm guessing that there's not many, or that you have to like use Surf to get to the dungeon to have exactly the amount of steps. Uh, to do it in time. That's oh yeah, we don't have this yet. This horsey rumoraid. Got it. One ball. Right on. Now we have horsey into Cedra Kingdra. Yeah, we just don't like we're just and I can maybe catch another Ralts while we're here. I would save it if it's a high level like. I wouldn't bother if it's not a high level. Tam, Tam is, is bottom is left. left. Secret is secret. Um, I want to go for the secret. We can always get the team later. 23 seems to be the highest level we've got so far. Do I go right or do I go down? 
What do you think, Joe? Write her down. For the for the bottom left secret? I think you go... No, for the actual secret secret. Bottom or down? Oh, my gut is that it's top right. Okay. That's, that's, that's my gut. That's a new Pokemon. It's a that's a fucking Persian Lucario. It looks awesome. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure if it looks awesome. It kind of looks like... Uh, I like it. It kind of looks like Baby's first furry <laughs> anthro. <laughs> like the proportions are a little too wonky for, for uh, my tastes. That's funny. I like it. I think it's cool. Persian underrated. Yeah. Like... Yeah, it's not just. It doesn't just. Is the kind secret of look like a, a ball? Like a bad furry. Is the secret a pokeball, or is it so, like? Is it like? It'll be on a pedestal. You'll know it's a fucking secret type thing. I mean, I'm guessing it's a Pokemon encounter. So. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not gonna pick up the. This is uh, the other Persian. That's a level another, 35. I mean, Holy shit. The other one was 35, too. Oh, but yeah, it? the Lucario proportions with, like, the big head, anime eyes, and then tiny waist. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's somebody who was just too into Lola Bunny and doesn't know any other body types. That's fair. Oh, fuck. This was not the right way. I, my thought was the ledge was because the secret was nearby. Oh. Yeah, my thought was the ledge was a one way to like get back from the secret. Okay. Found a scope lens, okay. So it's not top right. That's a good that's good that's good deduction. So is it bottom right then, I wonder? If we can get them both, it also if Thunder said we could get them both, which means it probably wasn't gonna be dead opposite. I got a heat rock. Ding dong. One more try? Yeah, we go. You can speed up if you want to. To get there. Um, I don't want to because I don't want to waste steps. Oh, true. It's a you're, really you're, good way to waste steps. You're you're very right about that. Oh, let's also um. I didn't. I don't know if you noticed this. There was an NPC that told you. The black. Um. um that if you have the if you have the moves morning sun and moonlight you can use them to change the time of day in game i used the black loot but it didn't matter it's apparently not i don't think it's a true repel i think it just lowers oh it oh changes, changes zones i assumed it worked like a repel with number of steps yeah, you can pay at the hotel, but that was the NPC specifically was like, if you're not near a hotel, you can um, do the blah, blah, if you blah. have if you have these moves, you can use them instead. Was that guy yeah. always outside that hut? Yeah, he's chilling. He's not doing okay. anything. He's like, he asks you, he's like, how's your run going or whatever? Oh, okay. says. Your run like this is a roguelike. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. I got a rock gem. Cool, neat. OK, let's go. Bye. See ya, bye. Before we do more fusions as well, we also need to um, buy. Uh, probably should buy some more splicers. Oh, cool. All right. So top right didn't work. Top right did not work. We're gonna go bottom left. He said TM was bottom left. Did we already find the TM? Or we just go straight down. We try and just go straight down as much as possible. Damn it. Black flute. It didn't even fucking work. Makes me think it's over there in the bottom, the bottom right. No, this is the way we went because this is where I said to pick left or right. Yeah, so you need to go down. We need to go down. Um, Butterts. 
This is the Persian Lucario. Ferrario. Ferrario! There's the TM. Yeah, I guess so. So the, the secret has to be like bottom right. Or top left. Or top left. Stop it with all the fucking Pokemon. Qua what the fuck? Quash. What the fuck is Quash? Well, we've randomized TM, remember? I also don't know what that move does. It's a dark move? Useless? Okay. Quash. It doesn't. It's a non damaging move. It's top left. Um, it's a Volcarona. I was gonna say this feels like Volcarona. So I guess save. Oh, you can't save. Can't save. I wonder if it still uses Safari Balls. It looks like Quash. Oh, that's the, gross. The following turn. That's disgusting. No, it's a Yan Mega. But the the. And a Glaceon, I think? It's a level 40 fucking five. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. I was freaking out because I was trying to get to my mute button in time, so it looked like I was... It fled. Oh. So... So we just... We have to come back. Time to do it again?! Does the Safaris... We don't have to, like, reset our save, do we? Oh my god. No, I don't think that's... I, I don't think you're gonna have the steps to get back there. Oh, I don't. Yeah, okay. Apparently, Quash um, makes it so that the next turn, the target has to go last or something like that. Basically, it forces your opponent to act slower the following turn, mm. including ignoring priority. Damn yeah, you, yeah, you can just ditch a challenge. Is that always what it's going to be, though, right? That's, like, what the Pokemon will be? But yeah, level 45... It's only one path to the secret. Okay. Okay, we'll bring, up a, we'll bring it up on the map now that we've done it once, so that we don't waste time. Yeah, so let's go do a couple fusions while we have time. I mean, we have we, five. We have, we have five in the bank. I think technically we could call the static Volcarona encounter a sixth if we actually get it, but I... whatever. Um. Oh, you can't do the drag select anymore. Mm -mm. Like when you can select multiple ones. The Perario. We got a Lucario decent, now. So that's the decent level Lucario that we can use, yeah. Alright, let's do this wheel shit. Alright, everybody, ready? We're gonna spin that wheel! Creepy. Okay. With... Small. Creepy and small. Small. Okay. That's mean. Mm. All right. So what do we have for creepy? Uh, we have Dusclops. Uh, unknown. Unknown. Uh, we have... I would argue Lilip is kind of creepy. I would agree with that. Yep. I would agree with Lilip is creepy. Um, what's the other one that we have? Shoot, shoot, shoot. What's in box three? Um, um, um. Oh, the, the... Coffin Pokemon. Coffagrigus. Yep, that's a creepy Yeah, Coffagrigus, yeah. 
Okay, now what's what are some small Pokemon? Caterpie. Caterpie is small. Uh, we have we have Joltik. Joltik is small. Joltik Kafagrigus has two different custom sprites. Are you fucking serious? As does Galvantula. Easy peasy. I think that's an easy one. And I'll just let you pick. Both are good. All right, that's simple. If I had to pick, I would probably pick the one that's the Joltik body plan. I think that one's better. But we want. Le I want electric though. Uh, it's yeah, Ghost Electric. Oh, because coffee is like. He's so creepy. Top of Grigus is ghost only, yeah. Alright, Joltik, let's go, brother. Ghost Electric? Yep. That's oh, yeah. the one I would pick, but both are good. I want Ghost Electric. Be a good backup in case August ever dies. And August still needs to evolve. Oh man, time. he looks good. He looks so good. Mm -hmm. I agree. What's its name? Um, we want. We want mummy. You probably want mummy, honestly. And they're both neutral, so. Yeah. Yeah, we want Mummy. Mummy's funny. Yeah. Compound Eyes is also just, like, not that good. Yeah, he has Echo Web. That's pretty good. Yeah. Hex. Um, and it looks like this one gets Galvantula, or Joltic speed, so... Because Kofagrigus is not fast, so... This one has better stats. Um, let's see. I'm going to spend... Uh, yeah, it's ancient power, but are ghost. we are we physical attacker? Um, no, we we're special attacker. We're a special attacker. Yep. I can get rid of bug bite, right? Ah, uh, we don't need nightshade actually. No, not at this stage. You can you can get rid of bug bite, but you definitely don't need nightshade at this point. What are we naming this guy? Uh, like spider bug. No, it's spider bug. No. Spider ghost. It's a it's a mummy. It's a mummy tick. It's a mummy spider. Mm. Mm. Is it gonna have a bunch of hands? On the final it will it will have some extra hands and some ghosty hands yeah and a bunch of legs yeah i don't think you're gonna appreciate that name when you see the final form uh... <laughs> hands not tentacles right you're right, you're right, you're right. Hands Solo is very good. We'll use that one. Hands Solo is very good. All right, we go. Uh, I mean, Ghost Hands is a thing. It That's is. a thing people are into. It is a big deal. All right, we got Can't it. say I understand that one. Okay. Go. Bing! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, random. Her box. So then, pick a box, and then random. Okay, and then we're going to just spin again, or we're going to do just two boxes? Uh, that one is in the set with the ones where it's like combos. So this one is just... Because we've been doing it, if we get it second, we've been randomizing the second Pokemon. Yes, but we got it first, so I think we do random. I guess random. we could do... We could just do one random. That's fine. Initially, the idea was that we randomized. We just total random to We could do a total random because we spin it... We sp we did it first. it first. Yeah, because I picked it. It's in the middle of the other ones that are also like. Um, All right, so we'll do a. 
You you get to pick the box. Oh, we get to pick it? I was going to do a random number. I was going to do a completely random. You could do, I guess, random the box as well. Here we go. Right. So random yeah. one to three. Yep. Wait so I guess see it. Um, you can actually leave it as one to 30 and just do zero to zero to ten yeah. for the I'm box. Like, I, want ran I want random. You got it as a wheel, apparently. Apparently. No, just give me a random number generator. Between one and three. Roll. Do both your one and threes first. Stop. All right, box one. Okay, and then do another one. Start. Box two. Okay, box one and two. Box one. Box one and two, which is a shame because box three has all the new cool shit that we got. All right. So now box... we need one to thirty. Box one will be nine. Oh wait, no, I have to stop it. All right, sixteen. Box one sixteen. Yep. And then the next one. Twenty three. Okay. Now let's go see if we have to flip some coins. Oh, we're gonna have. Probably. All right, sixteen. So. You need to hide is... the. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, six per. So this is twelve. This is eighteen. So sixteen is right here. Evie Kaku or Evie Sunkern. Eevee Badoo. Oh, Eevee Badoo. The sprite is glitched. So, Eevee Badoo, flip a coin, or I can flip an actual coin, or... Yeah, we'll have you flip an actual coin. Oh, actually, don't... Actually, don't think I have an actual coin. No, nah, that's okay. We'll do it. Okay, and then 23? No, I can do this. Hold on. I can do this. Um. So, this is 12, 18... 19, 20, 21. It's the Firo Titar, isn't it? It's just Firo. Oh, it's, it's just a Firo? It's straight Firo. Okay, hold on. So for the first one, flip a coin. Oh, once you move it, it'll fix the sprite. Interesting. On tails. tails. Um, so that would be no, it's Badoo. Badoo. Well, that's. This Pokemon's never getting used. So Badoo Firo. Something tells me it's not going to have a custom sprite. Yeah. So Firo. And Firo Badoo definitely don't have a custom sprite. Firo Roserod actually do though. So grass flying? You want the grass flying one, yeah. Because that sprite is actually not terrible, and in theory it does have a custom sprite at the end of it. Yeah, but this is ass cheeks. Yeah. But like, oh, the custom sprite's kind of cool. For, for <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yep. Sure. Yep. I don't think you need to nickname that one. Something tells me we're not going to use it. Uh, keep Firo's movesets. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's a flying grass with poison point. That's... Fine. Well, flying grass Tropius, right? Yeah. Alright, let's do one more, because it's already getting late, and we can... That means we have two banked. Three, three in the bank, right? Three banked. That's pretty good. Yeah. Because we've done six so far. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll see if we remember that next week. But yeah, three um, banks. Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Spin. <sighs> Good, excuse me. Oh, it's now, my for, choice. It's my choice. Leading this, this stream with. Wow, we're both so tired. I think we did okay today. Yeah, I think so too. I might need to go get more um fusions. Is it a is it a Joe and Oh it's it's a two it's a two my You just get to pick both. I get to pick both. You just get to pick both. That's oh. not happened yet. Oh. This is just a whatever you want. Oh. Anything you want. I can't stop you. Any way I want it, that's the way I need it. We're gonna get copyright striked. <laughs>
No, no, not with your singing. Well, that's rude. I was doing it on purpose. So, what are you, where are you going? I gotta go buy more fusion things. Oh, okay, Splicer. We I'm haven't been to out. this mart. We haven't been to this mart yet either. We should probably see if there's anything cool in there. Because it's randomized. I don't know, it's not. I thought shops. I thought the secondary shop is randomized. Is the it? other guy. I don't think so. I think he is. By the way, you can buy a ton of those. You have plenty of money. There we go. Alright. Got a bunch. Um, poison gym and a repeat ball. I mean, repeat ball is not the worst thing in the world. Alright. Alright. Mmm. What we got? 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 I like Sceptile, and we have a Grow Vial. We've been we've been sitting on that Grow Vial for a while. Well, we have the Magikarp one now too. Yes. Oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. Yeah, but we have that Blissey we can train with. We got we got this Grow Vial here. What are you gonna fuse it with? Does Sceptile Garchomp have one? Because if not, I don't even have to fuse, I can just use this one. Um. Sceptile Garchomp does. Okay. Okay. Uh, would be, it would be Grovile. Gabite. Go that already has it, it's right here. Yeah. Oh, but you already have that fusion. It's right here. Yeah, no, you have to fuse something new. You can't just pick one out of the box that's already fused. Damn it. <laughs> Not allowed. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's really good. Ooh, Vulpix. Vulpix is great. And Ninetales is awesome. We have plenty of fires, though. Yeah, you do. I mean, you could do something with that Routes. But there, we have an Empoleon, which we, I guess we already have a water type, though. <sighs> but you could make... No, no, it's always a water type. Um, well, you have Lucario now. I don't like Lucario. He's a furry. Pokemon. But we don't have a fighting type at all. Or we don't. Do we have a couple of Vibravas floating around? We do have some Vibravas. Do Vibrava. May I interest you in a non dragon? No. Vibrava Gabite is sure something. No, you cannot. <laughs> Is Flygon Garchomp anything cool? Um, I would say yes. It's it's uh, Dragon Ground still, either way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're custom sprites in either direction. They're both kind of weird, oh. but they're fun. Damn, damn, damn. They're okay. they're just they're cool. They just also are kind of weird. Blastoise is also like a cool Pokemon. We don't need water. Anymore. How about I and that Mamoswine? Mamoswine Flygon. Nah. I'm out Mamoswine, Ninetales. Oh, I was looking up Flygon, Ninetales. Not very good. Mamoswine, Ninetales? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say both of those are great. Can't really, really? go wrong. Both, and they're e e either Ice Fire or Fire Ground. Ice Fire is a cool type beam. Yeah. Ninetales? What level is the Vulpix of all that? Oh, it's Firestone. It's Firestone. Firestone. There you go. We there just, you go. We can just do it. Um, yes, because uh, we probably have a Firestone, and we know where to get them if we need them. Um, you want... It sounds like you want the Ice Fire. Fire Ground is only re weak to walk, to rock water. That's really good. Both fusion... Both, by the way, both fusions are good. So I would pick the type you want. And then just uh, Firestone. Um, Vulpix Mamoswine only has one custom sprite, but Ninetales Mamoswine has two. So you can pick either type you want and then just evolve it. Ice Fire has a ton of weaknesses, admittedly. It does. Rock, ground, fighting, Water. steel. Uh, maybe not steel. Water, Water. still, right? I mean, fire ground is kind of crazy because yeah, it's only we. It's four times to water. Two x to rock. Two I x to I, rock. I can see here. Four x water, two x to rock. That's it. 
That's it. Uh, though. Ice fire is rock, water, fighting, and ground, and that's it. That's crazy good. That's really good. You get an immunity to electric. I mean, you this, have a few resistances. This does some type coverages because it can cover, like, if if explosion god ever goes or if Petrie ever goes, we still have a ground. Yeah. And we still have a fire. It's just a good backup. Yeah, this is a good backup. Yeah. Popcorn. The only thing is, do this, but then go evolve it so you get to see the coolest sprite. Yeah, we will. We will. We will. Mm. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, oblivious. Uh, flash fire. Oh, do we have? Oh, special attack up, special defense down. Let's go. Solid. We don't want hail. Uh, Confuse Ray is not bad. It's not a bad thing. We're a physical attacker? Isn't Nine Tails? This is strongly physical attack. Oh, really? Yep. By far. Oh, no. Yeah, oh. I, unfortunately, Nine Tails does kind of suck. Yeah, Nine Tails does suck dick. I didn't know that. I didn't know he's. Oh, I just got rid of the ground move. That's fine. It's my ball. Um, I'm gonna shift Petrie out of here for a second. And Petrie had a glow up. That's crazy that he's. She's more physical. Alright, where's the fire stone? Give me my fire stone. I assume we have one. We do. Right here. Like one of the first things we picked up. Alright, what are we gonna name this chat? Maybe you should see what it looks like first. There's gonna be a big mammoth one with big old fluffy little tails. <laughs> I like the goggles it has on. Yeah, I don't know why it has goggles. I don't. I, like I don't it. understand. I like it though. It's true. Yeah, we haven't actually seen a. Uh, Growl. Um, we haven't seen a Growlithe. Growl. All right, what are we? Um, what are we naming this mammoth swine? Nine tails. Um, Naruto. Kurama, thank you. Let's go. That's what we're naming it. Absolutely. Oh goodness. Fucking Naruto thing. I'm sure it is. It I've is. definitely seen. It's the it's the nine tail mm. fox. Is Kurama? No, I know. I just I haven't. I've could I've seen maybe like thirty seconds of Naruto ever. That's all you need. Oh, I need to send. No, you're not going to put that in the party. So what's the party? Do you have the sprites? The Snorlax and okay, the Petri. Okay, so, you have oh, the sprites. Oh, but the Petri Evo we have to update. So yeah. Yeah, I, That's I sent you that. Going to be it for us because it's late and we gotta go. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Like, subscribe, follow, do the stuff. Go check us on Twitch. Yada yada yada. All the things. See you later, bitches. Bye. That's probably rude. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Bye.